and we're waiting and we're waiting for youtube to catch up hello youtube you're here we're here i'm here hi i'm Tudihiri, and we're playing frostpunk 2 today the beta i'm so excited frostpunk 2 is the most anticipated game for me this year listen to the music feel it it's, it's incredible absolutely incredible Welcome to Utopia Builder Preview. We are thrilled you are here. What you are about to play is a chunk of the Utopia Builder mode of Frostpunk 2. Please bear in mind this is pre-release build of only a slice of the full game and it does not represent final quality. Some game and platform features might not work correctly, bugs and crashes may occur. Rest assured, we'll continue working on improving all areas of the game until the very release. We'll hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Frostpunk 2 is coming out in July. I'm just going to the Steam page now because I forgot what date exactly. 25th of July. It's developed and published by 11-Bit Studios. Who sent me a key for this? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the key. And it's a sequel to Frostpunk. So we are... This is 30 years after Frostpunk. After Frostpunk. Um, we're still in the post-apocalyptic world, but... The people have survived. Most of them have survived. Some, um, you know, died in the mines. And yeah. anyway, um, most of them have survived. Survived, and now we need to manage the city. So it's a city builder. It's it's also a society survival game. I think they called it in in one of the videos. Hello, Matza. Welcome in. Hi. Oh, absolutely, Arch. Go get some sleep. Have a good night. So the story mode is locked. Yes, we'll get that in in July. Utopia Builder Preview. Let's go. Out of the icy apocalypse into a hopeful future. Lead the city. Survive. Grow. Expand and prosper. Can you build a world worth living in? So this is limited scope. No story mode available. It's work in progress. Bugs, crashes and placeholders may appear. The playthrough is capped at 300 weeks. Okay. Well, let's see. Thank you, Arch. I, I hope so, too. Have a good night. Ambition? Okay, so there are several ambitions. We can... Ah, oh, the music. We can only pick colonization. Establish a food colony. Establish a fuel colony. Establish a materials colony. Explore most Frostland territories. It's just because we're curious about the others. Utopia. Increased population, 40,000. So Frostpunk 2, because I watched basically everything there is. I watched gameplay teasers. I watched the trailer. I watched gameplay stuff. I watched interviews. So this is on a bigger scope. Supposedly, we don't place just individual buildings, but we place districts and we say, okay, a district goes here and here and here. It's, it's just going to be everything on a bigger scope. You can't hear the music. You can. How's it going, Torlak? Welcome. Toby Larone. Hi. So the utopia has increased the population. Also establish food, fuel, materials colony. Output an abundance of heat. 500. Population would be increased population to 80k. Establish at least two colonies. Prosperity. Output abundance of heat 1000. Secure a massive stockpile of food, goods and materials 100k each. Provide enough shelter for everyone. Alright, we have to go with... Colonization. Choose a map. Windswept Peaks. Sheltered between mountain ranges in a small valley, this place was judged well protected from the elements, which relatively easy with relatively easy access to key resources. A broken shore. Initial plans aimed to use the nearby body of water for fishing, but it froze solid during the Great Storm. However, there's still access to vast frozen forests in the area. Oh, also not available in the preview, but it doesn't matter, we need to look at it. Fractured Gorge. The frost disfigured this area, but it was chosen for easy access to geothermal energy. It lacks other fuels, though. And Horizon. The variety of key resources in the area outweigh the dangers of being placed in the open plains of the Frostland. 
Okay, we only have one map available, the Windswept Peaks. That is fine. You really enjoy that deep gameplay video? Oh yeah, I watched that too. It was so good. It was really nice. Peter Fury ends on Monday. Do you need the deluxe edition to get a key? Uh, yes, I think so. Let me see. There's the... I think it comes with a deluxe edition, but if you go to Steam, it actually tells you. So yes, the deluxe edition gives you access to this, the beta for this week, the Utopia preview build, a builder preview. It will give you access to the three DLCs that released after the initial game release. Uh, you will also be able to play story mode 72 hours before the release. Uh, an exclusive in-game item, no clue what that's going to be like. The Warm Flesh Novella digital version. And the digital art book and soundtrack is what you get with the deluxe edition. Yes. Um, okay, the communities, Magnus and Foragers, Workers and Merchants, it's not available, okay? Laws and Thinkers, random. But Machinists and Foragers are the only ones available. Difficulty preset, so there is easy, medium, hard, extreme, but extreme is not available in the preview. Medium is okay, and we can't set economy, weather, frostland, society, or everything is okay. Onboarding is on, so that's a tutorial, and are you ready? Are you ready for Frostpunk 2? The first look? I'm so excited. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play on hard now. Let's go. No, oh, I'm excited. You're not ready? I'm ready. I'm so ready. Ah. <sighs> When your tension is high and you find it hard to decrease, try increasing your trust. It might save you. Or try playing Frostpunk 2. Press space to begin. Also, um, I hope my PC can handle this. Just... Let's go. A new beginning. The end of the world changes people. It changed us. Us. The foragers. Natural survivalists adapted to harsh frostland conditions. The machinists, descendants of groups that built the initial cities and maintained the machinery. We chose you as our stewards to lead the city as overpopulation looms and resources dwindle. We all dream of a better future. What it should look like, this we can't agree on. Tension stirs and radicals rear their heads. Navigating this will be your ultimate challenge. Notice. This preview of Utopia Builder Mode is capped at 300 weeks. The city must not fall! It works. Okay. We don't. I'll just... It doesn't matter. I wanted to show you the scarf as in the city must not fall. Oh, it's fine. Hi there, Guri. Welcome in. Hi. Good to see you. Hello. 60 stream streak tour lag. That's amazing. Thank you. Windswept peaks. Colonize the frostland. Coal is running out. We have grown numerous over the years and waited too long to strike out. Our coal stockpiles are nearly depleted. We have to colonize the frostland. But first, we located some coal deposits in rough terrain around the city. We must send frostbreaker crew. Frost breaking crews to access them. We need more coal. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, let's pause. It is gorgeous. This is how far we can zoom in. I, it's, it's all of this snow. Snow is super high, apparently. Okay, cool. And this is how far we can zoom out. Good. Okay, so uh, week one, day two. <laughs> Already day two. It is the 9th January, 1916. Here we've got heat stamps. Heat stamps, cores, workforce. 4,800. That is a lot of workforce. Wow. Okay, so much snow everywhere. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love it. The game audio is very quiet. Yes, there's just one one problem with it. 
it's already maxed out. But I've got a pro audio setup. I can I can use a workaround. Here we go. We can put Frostpunk on That's Frostpunk. Yeah, we can put Frostpunk on a game slider. Then we change the audio profile. There's not enough music, right? We change the audio profile. And then we can boost it here. This is the maximum maximum. Like, I can do nothing else. This is it. But yeah, now it's fully maxed everywhere. And I can hear it. It's so nice. Okay. What do I need? Oh, but now it's now it's loud again because you know out of the menu it's anyway. Hi there, Bloomy. Welcome in. Hello. If ice and snow are a major has hazard, settling in the mountain peaks seems like a poor logistic decision. Well, you've got ice and snow everywhere, but yeah. Okay, so we were looking at this. Then here we have heat, shelter. Okay, and you see fulfilled and unfulfilled. And then you have the, the demand by the foragers and the machinists. Okay. Food. Materials. We don't have any. Goods. Coal. Guard squads. Okay. Minus 20C right now. Calm weather. Population is 8,008. The city. All right, here we've got time uh, time controls and the quest right now is coal is running out. Access a coal deposit using frost breakers. Construct an extraction district on a coal deposit. What's this? The foragers community. Relations neutral. Size 49%. Absent tension. General. Marginally increased by minor cold. And here we have the machinists, relations neutral, size 51%, okay. Then, here in the bottom. Oh, it's so awesome. Frost break new area, construct buildings, construct districts, uh, district hubs. Yeah, okay, I, th I think I'm gonna go sit in the other corner. Oops. All right, we're gonna go here. Oh, so exciting. Um, unfulfilled, 31. So 31 souls we can sacrifice for the greater good. Ah, we, no, no, rather not. Because when using browser, maybe scroll down, tell you. Oh, if the tentacle sub goal is reached, um, it's not. Uh, that's a follower goal, isn't it? I can't tell you right now, but somebody else can. So, instead of hope bar, we have the tension between the factions. Yes, exactly. And so here's frost breaking. Construction. 300 workforce, 40 heat stamps. Teams of workers with heavy equipment breaking ice and preparing ground so that the city can be expanded. Okay, and we need to do that on a, on a coal thingy. Here's coal. Why is this yellow? Oh, because this is why I can do it, right? Ah. Okay. Did I... I'm gonna unpause. Did I... Did I do this? I'm not sure. No, I did not. How do we... Wait, here's a help thing. I don't, I don't know how this works. Okay. Uh. What? Somebody wants to put me in a corner? Excuse me? Parameter soup. Hello. Yes, yeah, second Frostpunk. So right now is a beta week for everybody who pre-purchased the deluxe version and content creators who got a freaky like me. And then it's releasing in July. 
Okay, initially you can only build districts in a limited area. The wider terrain is covered in, in frozen stiff ground, which is impossible to construct upon. To widen the buildable area, I'll need to use the Frostbreakers. Okay, clicking on the Frostbreaker button. I've done that. Find your way towards the edges of the buildable area. Click on the white tiles until the indicator circle is full. So I have to fill it. Okay. I saw that, but yeah, apparently we need to just fill it up. Frostbreaking cost is fixed, and unless there are no more tiles to click, the amount of tiles needed to begin frostbreaking is always the same. I see. Okay, so... We can just... Make our way here. And then... We have to stay in the area. Alright, so we're frostbreaking now. Cool. I know, right? A summer release for Frostpunk. Although, it's a winter release for the Southern Hemisphere. You know. Good. What else are you telling me? Oh, it's just still Frostbreaking. Frost, frost Key bindings. Space wise pause. Yes, one, two, three. Escape. Left all to show district stats. Okay. Build construction panel. Frostland view. Trails construction. Idea tree, the council. Okay, so we're going to press Alt and V. This is the district view. Empty building slot. Okay, and V? We don't have that yet. Okay. What are you telling me now? Heat stamps. Your southern hemisphere. You get in midwinter. Perfect, isn't it? Summer release is better with the heat waves. We will be grateful for the snow. Yes, no, that's true. Heat stamps are stockpileable resource that can be spent on frost breaking, constructing districts, or buildings, or when using specific actions. A city collects heat, heat stamps weekly. Every community provides its share depending on its size. The bigger the community, the more they contribute. Heat stamps income can be increased by satisfying goods demand. It can also be modified by certain laws and buildings. You can request or donate heat stamps to communities and factions. Click on a community or faction at the bottom of the screen to see the list of possible actions. Okay. Fund projects. I, I can do that, but they don't have any specific projects right now. Technological progress guarantees survival. Adaption. Adaptation is key and reliance on machines is weakness. Okay, so we, we broke through here. Now we need to construct an extraction district on the coal deposit. Wait, this is Frostpunk. Buildings? Oh no, here districts. Industrial, extraction, food, housing. For the construction of the extraction one, 600 workforce, 120 heat stamps. Oh, yeah, time is, time is moving fast. So instead of just, I don't know, playing through several weeks, like in the first one, um, and struggling through each day, here you play on a on a bigger scale. So it's already week four and I've been playing for what? I had the game on pause for five minutes or so. So yeah, time is time is ticking fast here. We then need they they will demand 50 materials. The output is 150 materials, 120 coal coal, 200 materials. I'm not sure why the materials listed twice. But all right. This is how it's done. Select six areas to construct the district. Oh. Oh, I see. But if I... I should have frost frost broken this here, shouldn't I? Because now it's going to look stupid. I would like to frost break again, please.
All right, well, we're going to do some more frost breaking so that we've got more space around here. So, um, yeah. yeah. Things will be less about survival, more about how to balance things out in your city. It's going to be... It's going to be more about society. Yeah. That tension of the different factions in the city. What is this? Cold. Crime minor, but it's growing. Extremely increased by goods scarcity. Increased by guard squads. Okay. Good. And now again, extraction district. So we're going to put this here. <gasps> what? Are those people? There's a... Oh, that's an automaton. Right, okay. So they built this road here. The sea is minor. And then over here, we're building this. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, you're going to start saving for Frostpunk too. The first one was awesome. It was amazing. Yes, I love Frostpunk. And so this works slightly different already from what we've seen, but I'm I'm, ex I'm still excited. Are those people a lion you say often when at Walmart? <laughs> what? What is this? <gasps> the looming cold. As the cold pro problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizens. In these harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads and enough heat to warm their homes. Is the generator powerful enough to heat the city? Or do we need to extract more fuel? If our current methods aren't enough, we should consider alternatives. Cold has risen to a concerning level. Here we are again. Mill week 9, the damage is only 300. That is true, but then I can start a new game, right? So yes, it is limited to 300 weeks, but I can I can then start again, I would assume. It seems more chunky in a positive way, right? Get why they make the second game different from the first one. You think you like the smaller time scale better? No, that's fair. I'm not sure if we can eat people again, but we can find out. <clears throat> we can find out. Ah. So. Shelter from cold. Good. We secured a new source of coal for the generator, but now we need shelter. Without it, people will still freeze to death, regardless of how hot the generator runs. The closer to the generator or other shelter, the better. We cannot afford to lose more heat than we have to. We will provide shelter and we can do that by constructing two housing districts. Optional, use warmth from central district or another housing by constructing housing in close proximity. Okay. Warmth from the central district or another housing. We need housing districts here. 200 workforce. We have loads. And we also have the heat stamps. The demand is 40 heat. And we've got 70. Okay. Oh, wait, so here are districts, but there's also hubs. Air transport. Okay. Oh yeah, here. So the, the light green, uh, green, the light blue is excess heat from proximity. So that sounds good to me. And I don't think there's anything else here. So we're going to go with one, two, three, four. Oh, no, not here. Never mind, here as well, because that's also blue. All right, optional, so use this. That counts as one district, right? So we need to make another one.
Does that still count? Yes. Alright. That should be the two housing districts. Something's happening over here. Security for the future. Good. Hello, Sea Fox. Jazz, welcome in. Hello. For science, we also only try things for science, of course. Dark Hiri might be activated today. We will see. Yeah. Time to sawdust to the meals and send the children to the mine. We will see if we've got that much micro control. Not sure. You have to build everything six at a time. So far for the districts, I think so. Yes. For the Frostbreaker, it was 10, I think. 10 tiles. You're digging the building style so far. It's so different. I like it. Hello, mountain goat. Snow indeed. Snow and frost and ice and cold. It's perfect. And my PC being super loud. Okay. okay. Um, security for the future. Stockpiling. Stuart, we are extracting more coal than we currently need to provide adequate heat for the city. As such, we have begun to stockpile the surplus. At the moment, we have ample storage space left. However, the space will eventually be filled and any additional coal will be left out to the elements, rendering it worthless. If we do not wish to lose the surplus, we should build more, more de depots. There are different types of depots for various resources. You can construct them in any district that have empty building space. Okay. So that is an actual building. Oh, but that, this is food. Aha, okay, so it's food. Now it's fuel. Goods, materials. 30,000 more coal stockpile capacity. Wah. Requires a food extraction industry, logistics, or expanded housing district. All right. Uh, yes. How do I... How do I put this here, though? I like the UI. They did a really cool job with this, but... Oh, now I have it selected. I thought I clicked on it already. Okay, we're upgrading the district with a fuel depot. And... Those are the heat stamps that caused the workforce. Where was the... Oh, here, coal. Right. Will be filled in 69 weeks. Nice. Hello, Vulcan idiots. Frostpunk 1 is so good. Excited to see the differences. It is amazing, yes. Frostpunk is one of my favorite games. And the, di the, like, the difference is striking. You play it, it is so striking. Here, everything is on a bigger scale. Time is moving faster. The city is going to be bigger. You build districts instead of just single buildings. And it's much more about managing the different factions. It's really cool. And oil, yes. Coal and oil, it said. Hello, Fika. Thank you for liking. Welcome. So we're waiting for those districts to be constructed. Done. Scraping the barrel. With heat from the generator and shelter for everyone, we're safe from the cold for now. But as the city grows, it will not be enough. The machinists and foragers have different opinions on how to improve the city further. We need a place to develop ideas for the future. Expand a housing district to provide more space for advanced buildings and build a research institute. Select the existing housing district. Okay, this one. My my problem right now is that the camera is is a bit fast and kind of smooth. So I press down once, I press S once, but like, like a quick press and you just, you just slide that way. It's not just, um, it's, the camera doesn't only move when you press a key. It's like you press it quickly and you just slide forward. And I don't really like that. It's not very accurate. But okay, so here's the district. Also now... There's a high demand for goods, but the housing thing, the shelter, got a surplus of nine, which is not a lot. Okay. 
So we, we have this. Expand the district for 50 heat stamps. To increase its output and provide one more building slots. Okay. We'll expand it here. All right, so that is three tiles expansion. And I guess after this is done, we can get a research institute. Housing research institute. Yeah, I can't build this right now. Okay. Good. I've been binge watching Frostpunk 2. Someone else mentioned the camera thing. Yeah, it's it's not it's not nice. Good. So now we've got space here. 100 heat stamps, but that's okay so far. We'll wait for this. Different ideas. Dum dum dum. Time goes so fast. You've already raced through 300 weeks. Uh, well, I haven't yet, but. Yeah, time moves fast, that's true. Hello, Bill, good morning. It's so far, so far it's really good. Like there's, it's just so different, you know? Um, I don't have the feeling of dread yet. I'm, I'm just very excited. I need to play more, but so far I really like it. Very different though, high third mask. You get what they were going for with the colored roofs, but such, with such bright colors, it starts to look a bit cartoonish. The only thing that bothers you so far. Okay, I haven't noticed that yet. I'll, I'll take a look at that. A small crowd gathers outside of the new research institute, arguing how to exploit the last coal veins. The machinists want us to learn on lean on machine-powered mining, but foragers would have us pursue a more frugal solution. They would never display such discord in the captain's heyday. You have to choose who to entrust with developing their idea. The communities of the city have different perspectives. You may not be able to please everyone. And that's a classic Frostpunk, right? <laughs> there is a bad choice and a worst choice. All right, show me the options. This will open the idea tree. Yes. We need new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue. They will only pursue solutions that align with their worldview. Choosing a community to develop an idea will improve your relations with that community. Coal mines. This is the one I need to go for. Adaptation or progress? How can we mine more coal? The dust coal mine requires an extraction district with a coal deposit. Mining operation where residue coal dust is sucked up and compressed into briquettes to make maximum use of the resource. Or the machinists say grinding the coal mine is the best. Operation using grinding machines to churn through coal seems quickly, leaving heaps of slag behind. The workforce is 400, here's 300. The output is 150 versus 180. The seas are slightly increased, 20 materials needed. Squalor is increased. The filth, grime, and pollution present in the city is produced by the generator, heavy machinery, and poor sanitation. It increases sickliness, slows population growth, and wears down the district. But also 60 materials needed. 15 weeks, 15 weeks. I vote machinists. I know, right? Here we go. Ah... <laughs> uh. Unruly citizens. We might have those too. I know that there are guards around. Dust seems more sensible. I mean, dust. Maybe it's like, you know, like with sawdust. Dust. That is the old ways, isn't it? Hi, Gerbil. Isn't cold as susceptible to explosion? I don't know. I'm playing favorites with machinists, yes. I, I will bow to the AI overlords. Um, I'll go for the machinists. Develop idea. Research the coal mines. Okay. Is this? Oh, here. We're in week 19, 20. We've got, yes, 300 will come fast. 
It'll be okay. How do I see... Is this research? No. Why do we see research? This is... I'm tolerated. City trust. Relations define how much communities trust you. Bigger communities impact city trust more. Okay, yes. Alright, so you were saying the different colored roofs. Hmm. I mean, right now it looks like all of this is just housing, isn't it? And here we have no color for the industry. Alright. Right corner. Oh, there's a thing. Thank you. I did not see that. Hotsie Kovac? Possibly. I'm, I'm pretty sure I butchered that. But thank you. Appreciate that. Also, hello. Sawdust can cause explosions. So the kitchens may be in danger at some point. Right. From Poland. I, I assumed. But yeah, I don't speak Polish. So apologies. Hi, Matrix. Welcome in. Okay, so here. 13 weeks. Okay, this opens that. What I find a bit sad is that the UI is bright. That's just a personal thing because dark mode is better than light mode for me. But anyway. So, okay, we're waiting. Waiting, we're waiting. And, oh, and Twitch wants to, wants to do the R thing already. Guess we'll wait here. Okay. Flying Penguin, hello, good afternoon. Yes, first time Frostpunk 2. Um, I, I just got the key yesterday. 22 sick people have recovered and returned. Something, something. Return is good. Recovered, return is good. Uh, so yeah, I got the key from 11-Bit Studios yesterday. And so this is my first look at Frostpunk 2. I have watched gameplay before. Like basically every everything 11-Bit Studios put out about Frostpunk 2, I've watched. Um, first time diving into it. And the music. Oh, it's so good. Someone subbed. Kamachi. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Hello. I appreciate you. Yeah, no, there's dark mode in Discord. Yes. Um, before we continue with this, with the first research and, and all of that, uh, let's have a short break. Twitch wants to run ads. I don't want you to miss anything. So hydrate, stretch, follow if you haven't yet. If you like Frostpunk, strategy games, indie games, RimWorld, Stardew Valley. We're, we're playing loads of games right now. And, and I'll be right back. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.
Hello again. Welcome back. Frostpunk 2. Frostpunk 2, I'm so excited. Hello, Reza. Welcome in. Thank you for liking Mountain Goat. I am ready. We're, we're playing Frostpunk 2. This is the Utopia Builder preview. And we're doing research. We're trying to research what we can do or what we can do better with the coal mines. And we decided grinding coal mine is the way to go. Assign research increases. Okay, so and now construct the newly researched building in the extraction district. So that will be here. So we'll go extraction grinding coal mine. But we can't put it here, so we need to expand the district. I should have done that before. That, that should have been clear that I need this. Okay. Now extraction grinding coal mine so it seems like the upgrade we always put on the same tile and we just need more more space more infrastructure for it okay and yes the research institute is idle right now that's okay a place to settle differences bum, bum, bum. how's it going do you see a twitch ambassador hoodie in the twitter post no Oh, Amsterdam. What? Why did I read Ambassador? Yes, Amsterdam. I'm wearing this. Um, it's it's going all right. Today's been very, very busy and stressful so far. But that is behind me. Now, fun times with Frostpunk 2. And this is awesome. It's really good. With a new mine, we have enough coal output to last us a while. Yet differences between communities remain. Even under the previous leader, plans have existed to establish a council to settle such differences. More pressing problems always delay them. The time has come, Stuart. The people want a say in how the city is run. We need a council. Build a council hall in the central district and act a new law through a successful vote in the council. All right. Let's first. Oh, I'm not allowed to do this. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I was. Ah. Am I allowed to do this in the preview? I am. This is not ideal. Like, I, I kind of understand that you have fog of war here. Also, I love that this is this icy, icy plane. But it's, it's kind of hard to make out what you can click on and what you can't click on. Nothing like a bit of frostpunk to de-stress, right? My thoughts exactly. Can we not just melt the ice and snow with the hot blood of our enemies? Well, I'm not sure if we've got enemies like that. Not really, you know. Hello, Talon. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I hope you're well today. Using the bones of our enemies as structural supports. All right, now I, I see where this is going. Coal mines. All right. Goods factories. Here, we need. we have a high demand for goods. Uh, a refurbishing goods factory facility Don't using theory is pleased <laughs> <laughs> using old <laughs> domestic goods no matter how soils the manufacture new ones to manufacture new ones with minimal resources facility facility using advanced machinery and production lines to manufacture standardized domestic goods i think here i'll go for refurbished It would be nice to see here how many heat stamps you have. Um, oh, this is only for when we build the thing. But to develop the idea, we need 50 heat stamps, right? But I don't see how many heat stamps I have. Unless I... No, I don't. We see it here. But okay, anyway. So we need to build central... The council hall. And we could just put this here. Okay. Wouldn't anyone who disagrees be our enemies? <laughs> okay. Okay. Chat is out for blood, apparently. Sure. Get back from sitting on a seawall, soaking in the rising sun in near zero sea temps. That sounds so lovely. Might might be a bit chilly, but so lovely. 
The council gathers for the first time. Chat, we can vote on the law. It, it, yeah, I know it is me and, you know, we do bad things here. That's true. That's true. Hello, Witter. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. First council session. People cheer as the gates of the council open. It feels like a piece of the world lost to the frost has been regained. The people are hopeful to have their voices heard. While the machinists and foragers clash about our survival strategy, neither has a firm stance on economic and uh, or social issues. However, many in their ranks do, though they keep to the shadows for now. To pass any law in the council, you will need the majority of delegates to support it. Open the session. Okay. Please take your seat, chat. We're doing the council thing. Yugabugu, hello, welcome. People of the city send 100 delegates to represent them. Your role as steward is to propose laws that will be put to a vote. However, communities have different outlook on many things. You may have to negotiate or pressure them to get enough support. I see. We will propose a law. Click on a council member to view that profile. Ah, okay, so here are the machinists. Here are the foragers. Ines Pooh. I don't like the camera wobbling about here, but it's really cool that... You know, those are people. They're like actual people. You know, actual people, but you know what I mean. Hello, Trivius. Welcome. So, survival, economy, or society? How about economy? Welfare, citizenship, and labor? Basic necessities. No common rules. Contagion prevention, and with outsiders, community service. Basic necessities are customarily provided without compensation, but practices can differ from place to place. Okay, what if we click on this? Typewriter. Okay. <laughs> you can click on each of them, and they're all—they all have a name and something. Because, because my concern, in a way, I guess, is Frostpunk One. You—you you have these people, right? And they came to you with their issues, with their hopes and dreams, and. And so you had this connection to them and you kind of didn't want to disappoint them. Well, you did anyways, right? And then they might have died, but you had this connection and it felt, everything felt, you know, it's a life or death situation. And with this being on a bigger scale, my concern is that it might not feel that way because you don't see those people, right? But if you have actual people on the council, maybe that's the way to go actual people we can feed them to the generator possibly in very dire circumstances a recommendation for a good first law yeah sure first one was very micromanagement yes and this seems to be much more macromanagement yeah faith and order are concepts of the past it seems like it yeah so for economy basic necessities we could just keep it as is or we can say paid essentials to foster responsibility and reward work citizens will be charged a small fee in exchange for essentials each stamp income per capita is increased and resource production efficiency is slightly increased the people are divided but more people are in favor a small step towards merit free essentials Based on availability, the city will ensure that all citizens are provided with what they need to survive for free. Trust will rise. People are divided again, more in favor. Small step towards equality. So this is how it goes, right? And then we'll just look at it. First law, anything that increases heat stamp production. Paid essentials, great, right. We're going to look at a couple others as well. 
Um, I don't think we need... Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's just take a look at things, right? You would want to have met the people you would let die in the cold laser. Really? Yeah. Okay, good. Why not? That doesn't compare to, to Sid Meier's Sith skylines. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, contagion prevention. Infection badge. Contagious people will be required to wear a specific badge that allows others to limit their interactions with them if they deem it appropriate. Oof. Oof, okay. Support is quarantine. Contagious people will be placed in quarantine. The city will provide them with extra food rations to speed their recovery. Yeah, okay, so we, we can already see how this might go bad here. Hi there, DJ Kika. Welcome. It is Frostpunk 2. Yes, I'm so excited. The infection badge. Not, not quite the most popular choice, yeah. Outsiders. Allow productive outsiders. We will only let in outsiders who will contribute to the city's economy and turn away the unproductive. Except all outsiders. We will welcome all who wish to join our city and share its benefits regardless of their ability to contribute. Ooh, dark eerie choices. I see them. Let's check out something else. So that was economy, right? How about survival? Food additives. <gasps> Can we have... Okay, okay. Foraged additives. Only natural foraged ingredients may be added to food. We will train people to forage for these in the frost land. That is sawdust, right? Chemical additives. The city will approve chemical additives with tested and tolerable risk le levels. The, but, but what about sawdust? I think it's the forage ones. It's clearly the... Mm -hmm. Goods. In order to overcome scarcity, we will organize our production lines to increase good production. Goods production. In order to make best use of scarce resources, we will focus on producing sturdy and easily repairable goods. All right. And then uh, let's take a quick peek at society. Funerals and childhood. That might be an interesting one. You want the chemical additives? Nah. Dark here was never meant to have this much legislative power. <laughs> Maybe not, Cake Boss. Maybe not. Sawdust would be chemical for sure. You think so? Well, then we have to go for the chemical, though. Childhood. Family apprenticeship. All children must work alongside one of their relatives so that they learn their trade and continue the family tradition. Mandatory school. To guarantee that all children have the skills and knowledge needed in the city, we will establish a mandatory school program supported by the city. I mean, this is this is all a bit... We, we still see Frostpunk 1 decisions in here, but much less life and death situation right so family apprenticeship instead of you know send the children into the mines yeah it's, it doesn't seem as brutal it seems a bit more civilized less dire exactly yeah which is fair because if you know 30 years have passed people have survived this is, we're, we're coming back to normal civilization to just a, you know society and it's fine we're going to go for economy and the basic necessities now, and paid essentials sound like a good idea. Less bleak, which is a shame. I kind of agree. I really like that that desperate feeling of, oh god, everything I do is just the bad, right? I kind of, I like that feeling of hopelessness. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, but I really like that. We'll, we'll see. Maybe it'll be super hopeless here as well. We'll, you know... Normal. I, I mean, yeah. Normal. Quotation marks, yeah. Maybe it ramps. Maybe. It would be fun if it lulls you into making worse and worse decisions so you don't notice that you're getting worse. Maybe. It's not so brutal. Yet. I like the yet here. Hello, Spectre. <laughs> so, the paid essentials. Um, yes. How do we do this? How do I... Oh, propose. There's a button. There's a button, chat. I see the button. Yes. I'm blind. 
Um, okay, so 20 are for it, 10 are against it, people are divided. Vote and negotiate. Um, let me hide here real quick, because we can also pressure the delegates. Pressure the hesitant delegates, which will sway them towards supporting the law. The most trusted you are, the more effective it will be. Hesitant delegates will be more likely to vote for the law. Relations with all communities will worsen. I am tolerated. I am not trusted. I am just tolerated. So, I don't think this is a... <laughs> I don't think we should pressure them right now. Welcome and Raiders. Hello. Papa Chillin. Thank you so much for coming over. Bring your community. I hope you had a wonderful stream. How was it? June Spice Wars? I hope you had a good stream. Thank you so much for coming over. I'm Kiri. Welcome in. It's nice to have you. We are checking out Frostpunk 2, the beta, and um, we just established a council and we're voting on the first law. This is very exciting. Opinions are divided. Well, we'll see what we can do. We could try to negotiate and just see what happens because I don't know what happens, honestly. We yeah what if we negotiate negotiate with the machinists uh, both of them are open to negotiation which is good all right let's let's go here because there's okay there's so many things that we need to read we could read i guess we're killing and chilling no hi rizzy how are you welcome in do you want know to was amazing I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. And and I'm I'm doing all right. Thank you. I'm very excited. But Frostpunk is one of my favorite games, and I was so excited to get to play Frostpunk 2 already. And yeah, so far so good. It's very different than the first one, but also really good. Yeah, it's very exciting. Not all laws you propose will have widespread support. You can negotiate have a better chance of a vote passing. After choosing a group to negotiate with, you can choose what to promise them in exchange for voting along with your proposal. That includes actions such as enacting a law they desire, building or destroying a special building, or using an action towards a particular community or faction. Making a promise in negotiations will make all hesitant delegates in a chosen community vote for the proposed law. Additionally, some delegates who are against the law will also switch sides. The same logic applies if you want them to vote against the law. Factions are mo more monolithic and will not engage in negotiations about laws that are against their worldview. All right. Okay, and there's there's lots more, but I don't want to read through all of that right now. What's the law behind Frostpunk? How did Never Ending Winter come about? Climate change. Just the other way around. So, mostly hesitant, mostly hesitant. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, 100 is the the total, of course. That makes sense. And 70 are hesitant. 36 of the machinists. All right, we're going to negotiate with the machinists. Uh, they will support the law for the next one. Yes, you should vote for this. And I will promise you. Oh, we could fund their projects. That's an easy one. That's just a button to press. Fund projects beneficial to their community. The larger their population, the more heat stamps required. The policy, city development efforts. Everyone must support the extraction work in an effort to gain more resources. But this is... Community Service and Act. I don't know how to do this yet. Or Survival Research. So here says Economy, Community Service and Act. I don't know how to do that, but that's okay. Survival Research. Worker Shifts. Police Machine Adjusted Shifts. Hmm. I think funding project oh yeah look at that law supported three of the the people who were against shifted as well that is nice hello again shane hi hi doom we will see how's it going omri welcome in hi 
It's an ice age. It's caused... It's not caused by the Aiken. That's a different thing. Right, well, this is this is it. So I negotiate it. Now the laws support it, so we're going to vote on it. And I didn't even have to threaten anybody. Yeah. The measure passes. Woo! The law passed into the future. <laughs> okay, here we go. You go to exercise a Japanese bathhouse. Oh, experience. Woohoo. Did you like it? It's awesome, isn't it? It was toasty. I bet it was, but also very relaxing, isn't it? The new law has been agreed on. Good. There are challenges ahead. Improving coal extraction is a success, but the vein will only last so long. We need to explore the frostland for a permanent source of fuel. That's the first step in our colonization effort. If we don't take it, the city will have no future at all. This then concludes the onboarding task in this preview. Remember, you can always consult the tutorial. The city must not fall. All right, colonize the frost. Okay, this is a bit hard to read here. Find a new source of fuel. Build a logistics district in place of one of the old waste stations of the city's outskirts. Find a permanent source of fuel outside the city. Establish the food, fuel and materials colony. Explore most frostland territories. And I promised the machinists to fund the projects. So how about we start with that? Grant agenda. This is new. Let machinists choose the next law to be voted on. No, 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 no. 246? Ouch. And you get 13 per week? That is, that is not good. Okay, okay. Democracy in Frostpunk? I know, right? It is democracy, but also... I, I can, like, influence the people on the council. Through good means, like negotiation, or not so good means, and threaten them a bit, you know? Tighten the noose around their neck. Oh, but yeah. Hello, Ato. If you don't negotiate, do the hazardous vote randomly? That is a good question, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe they can withhold the vote and then nothing happens. I don't know. You like this so far? It could boil into conflicts later on. Sounds exciting. I'm sure there will be conflicts. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I promise you this. So here you go. The machines are delighted you kept your words. They now look upon your rule more positively and consider you a leader with integrity. Because you kept your promise to use funds projects on machinists. The relationship improves, the trust rises. I am accepted. Look at that. We're so good. Octavius Styles, the forager, says we cannot use up scarce resources too quickly. Okay, so let's... This is us right now. We need to build a logistics district in place of one of the old way stations in the city outskirts. There's a coal deposit. Fertile ground, iron ore. Old way station. Okay, it's over there. There's also one here. So we need to... <gasps> what is this? The council. We need to frost break over here, I would assume. Slowly. We've got 16 heat stamps. That's really not amazing. We should build special material building. Oh god, the thing! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I forgot. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't build this right now. Was it in logistics? Where is it? Industrial grinding coal mine? Oh no, what did I research, chat? Oh, look at that. This is active. This is also active, but it's turned off. 
Both are active, but the switch is in different positions. That's weird. What did I... What did you, Special building... Special material building. It's not here. The grinding coal mine we already have. I'm so confused. Is it a district? I can't build anything right now anyways. But yeah, there's, there's that thing. What was this? Emergency shifts again, yeah. Half shifts. There's something happening here. Hi, Akumi. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Have a good afternoon, Reza. Enjoy the rest of your day. The, there is this thing that I research. Oh, no, it's not research. It was the law, right? What we voted on. I'm not sure where to build it. Sue Miller. 12 years. Street urchin. Looking for trouble. Cindy's pa went and got her governess, like she's gonna be a duchess or something. Not now, watch. We roughed up off the... Can't read. We roughed up the little bitch, all right? Fags and boys learn this too. If they try and wife us again tonight, we'll pull razors and say we'll cut out their eyes. That'll be good fun. But what we want in it is a proper rumble. Short blades only. Come on, who wants to play? The lack of a law regulating childhood is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Clearly. Clearly. Look at that. Stuff, stuff is already happening in the city. We need laws. Okay. I can't do a Cockney accent for this. Don't even know what that sounds like. Alright, so when's, when's the new law? This is the research. Two weeks. Okay, well, we'll go here anyways. Can I explore the laws? Oh, here. And then we went for economy. Paid essentials. I don't think I need to build anything for it. I think it's that's just it. Okay, so that, that's fine. Okay. An automaton has broken down and is blocking traffic. Technicians are on their way. I don't know what broke down, but I guess it's either a train or an automaton or something. That is cool. You played Harold Halibut yesterday? Oh, I don't know that. Sounds cool though. It was an automaton. Okay, that's nice. Stockpiles depleted. That is not so nice. Stuart, our initial stockpiles of food have run out. Our current output will satisfy some, some of the demand, but problems will mount over time. We must expand our districts or establish new ones to provide more supply. Otherwise, the city and us will suffer. Expand or build new districts to get more food. Okay, yeah, so... Districts. A food district. There's food over here. There's there's food over there. Right, so we need We need a frost break. Wait, where 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 did the food go? Oh no, we already frost broke. F frost broke here. Um Alright, here's the food district. We're gonna work on that. Cabok, hello. Welcome, welcome. Apparently you know how to do a Cockney accent talk. Nice. Forlorn. Hi, it's so good to see you again. Hello. You've been here before. It was... Oh. Forlorn. I know. Life's, life's been something. I feel like we haven't talked in ages. I hope you're well. It's good to see you. Crime increases with your population. More people means more troublemakers. Lack of goods also intensifies the problem as impoverished people will commit acts of crime out of desperation. There are many ways to combat crime that can be found in the idea tree, but make sure that the demand for goods is satisfied is also a way to combat it. High crime increases tension and reduces population growth. Crime also causes various recurring events, which include deaths or injuries. 
tension increase, or citizens joining factions out of desperation. Yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> We're going to get booted very quickly here. I didn't look at this at all. Well, we, okay, yeah. So I, I was just I was just chilling here, which is bad. What is rule? Okay, we can't do any of the rules because that is not available in this preview, and that's okay. We will do society and tell the children. I don't know what we're going to tell the children. Something so that they don't increase our crime. Life has been way too busy. Same here for Lauren, yes. I'll, I'll message you this week and, and give you an update on what's been happening. Um, yeah, I think the last time was at the airport, which is months ago. Yeah, you enjoyed Frostpunk 1, right? It was a little too easy. <laughs> sure. So it was. So, the children. We... Here, we're going to do the family apprenticeship. Children need to work. And so they're, they're hesitant people now. See, I really want to know what happens if we just vote. Maybe this... Maybe they tell us about it. Um, where would we, f the council here? That'd be voted on, uh, yes. There are a few different methods that affect it. It doesn't say what happens if we don't negotiate. We're going to do it for science. My camera is in the way. Yeah, that's okay. It's vote or negotiate. And we negotiated earlier. That is where you select a faction and then tell them whether you want them to vote for or against the law. And then you offer them something in return. And then you could also pressure the delegates to... And you pay with, with relations, I guess. So if they trust you... You can pressure them, and then the relationship will decrease a bit. Oh, you're coming to Austria, Verloin! Oh, that's exciting! What is tomorrow? Thursday. Right. I'll, I'll message you, Verloin, but I guess you'll be busy. I know I'm going to be busy. Oh, no Angel, hello! Family apprenticeship. What a nice way to say child lab labor. I know, right? <laughs> but still... Yeah, see, I don't know Flying Penguin. We don't know what happens with Hesitant, right? So we're just going to vote for it now and see what happens. If they if they withhold their vote, because I'm not sure if they can do that or if they just, you know, either or. I want to see what happens. Okay, so the 24, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, no, look at that. The delegates have spoken. They're still voting. The law takes effect. They're still voting. Uh, voting. The law passed. So I guess it's a... Uh, you just don't know which way they're going to vote for. Very good. We didn't even have to make any promises. Ha! Yeah, easy, right? Very good. I enjoy it following, yes. It's so different, though. It's really different. It's not as... It's not as... Dreadful, really. Get in the mines. No. No, of course not. Oh, what is this down here? There's there's something here. Survival progress. Oh, progress and adaptation. Okay. Economy. Merit and quality. Oh, right, because we voted for something and then it said that is a small step towards merit and stuff. What does this do? Right click for more. Week 55, passing family apprenticeship. I guess that's a victory condition or something. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what this is, but it's something. Okay. So. Okay, we're, get, we're getting the children off the streets, which is good. We, we're building the food thing here. <laughs> this is also good. Materials. Where do we get materials from? 
we don't have enough heat stamps, so it doesn't matter. New building proposed. Oh, the research was finished. For the... Oh no, what was it? For refurbished? The goods factories. I'm not even sure where I'm making those. Logistics bay. Vanguard Logistics Bay. Frostland Teams Output. Hot houses. They're for food here. Industrial sized hot houses were organic waste ferments in large vats. Fertilizing rev revolving shelves of crops. The bio waste drum hot house or the chemical drum hot house. With chemical nutrients when chemical nutrients are injected into tubs of crops to accelerate their growth. 80 output, 60, 20 heat, 40 heat. We're going to go with a bio waste. We have that anyways, don't we? Okay, we'll develop the idea. We finished the food district. And now... Here, food... This is not it. We're still researching it. Yeah, of course. Wait, there's industrial? The refurbishing goods thingy, but I don't have enough heat stamps. What is this? Extraction? Oh, this is the coal one I made. So we don't... We're not getting any materials, are we? Oh god, what have I done? What have I not done, I guess? Industrial... Production of processed goods and other materials. Logistics? Ah, this is the, for the Frostland teams. I think it's getting cooler, chat. I just panic paused. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You wonder if they fill up. We uh, wonder if when they fill up, you unlock new tech trees. So rather than randomly having to choose faith order, you have to push society in that direction first. Good question. I can't answer that. Where to get resources? Get the kids off the streets to the mines. Yeah, that's um, <clears throat> that's how it goes. So this is for Frostland teams, I guess for scouting and stuff. This is for goods. Oh, this is also for materials, right? But here we make coal. Right, so we need we need another extraction thing here. But first, stuff is happening. Rexdale, 45 entrepreneur, returning from the city approach trail. A profitable day. First couple were all rags and bones, useless. But then there was this woman with real ruby earrings. Ought to cover the arrival fee, I said. The wife will love those. Next was a bunch of strong fellas. I sent them straight to Elaine's place. She'll wring them dry before I get home. Lately, there's been less of them. Maybe word is getting around, but take advantage while it lasts. A lack of law regulating outsiders is decreasing population growth. So this guy is just stealing from the newcomers, I see. Do I get a cut from that? Squala mine the miner. And then there's the, there's the hunger as well. Can we... I like the material. I like every everything. I just need more heat stamps. Okay. How do you feel about heat stamps as a resource? It's just money. It doesn't make you feel arbitrary. Heat stamps. They are the currency used in the city. So yes, it's money. Originally, literal stamps redeemable for a fixed quantity of heat. They now function as a universal means of exchange. Meeting the demands for goods, as well as certain laws and buildings, can improve heat, heat stamp income. Because they buy the goods and they give me the heat stamps, I see. So it's, it's a form of currency. I don't think it makes it arbitrary, because there's a reason why, why they have them, why they give them to me, really. I like how they kept the personal histories. Me too. Okay, we need a bit more for the extraction. Extraction district. 
And we're gonna get that here then. Extraction. Mm, yeah. And then we're gonna get some materials. Hopefully enough. We still don't have enough food. Can I... I don't have a food upgrade yet. We are researching that though. So that's gonna happen. What you were writing before? You need a goods building to make more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And I, I have the building unlocked, but I don't have goods um district yet we're not making goods but yeah I'll, I'll get there it's not it's not amazing but it's something um right because i have the building but i need that district and i don't have an industry district because that's housing dense housing yeah we'll we'll get to that Hi, Arzalbo. It's good to see you. Quantum Twitch. Welcome. Hello. How does the second one feel compared to the first one? Different. It's a much bigger scale. It's it's not as grim and dire and hopeless. And it just works differently, right? You build districts instead of just individual houses, individual buildings. Um, you still decide over the fate of the people. On a, on a much grander scale and you've got to manage different factions and pass laws and stuff so it is still in the same vibe as frostpunk but also it feels less horrible less dark that's why i can say so far back in the cold new content you just want to rebuild. no no no, no Arzalba, this is frostpunk 2. we are checking out the beta of frostpunk 2. this is the uh, Utopia Builder preview, so sandbox mode basically. Completely new. <laughs> Misses the horrible and dark. Me too. Me too. We need an industry district. Oh wait, stuff's happening. William Hoff, thirty-seven hunter. A new voice. Ice bloods. I doubted we could start valuing competence and merit, but these new laws show show that we finally do. I doubted children could still learn to revere the elders, yet here my children tend dutifully to my needs. This made me realize what the city can become. The times of mere survival are gone. We must organize. A brighter tomorrow is within our reach. Icebloods formed in support of paid essentials and family apprenticeship. Oh. A new voice. Ice bloods neutral. 8% of the city. Hardened survivalists. They recruit from the most resilient and capable individuals in the city. This is the manifest. We've got a new faction. I didn't know that was I a thing. That is cool. It does look like trouble. Yes. Kind of looks like a white walker. Early stages of the white walker. You enjoyed the the harshness of the first one, the gritty dark part of it. It's the same with Darkest Dungeon and Long Dark. A proper challenge. Yes. I enjoyed that a lot as well. Um, We'll see. Like, you still hear the voices of the people with w what you just saw, right? But it's it's definitely a different feeling. Definitely a different feeling. Hello, Saren Rocks. You excited to see me play this? You've been waiting so long for the gameplay. Oh, I love the first one too. And yes, I share that excitement with you. He does not look happy, that's true. Yes. We're all saying this is less bleak. We still haven't seen what the game can throw at you. No, that's true. That is true. So, first adaptation. Um, it's a harsh Pretty world. Firm. Someone subbed. Hello. Hello. Hello, Grey Fox. Thank you so much for resubbing for 35 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. I hope you're well today. Hello, hello. Adaptation. It's a harsh world and only the fittest survive. We must embrace adaptation, fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Second, merit. Resourcefulness should be rewarded. We must praise personal achievement and reward individual merit. Tradition. We preserve, we persevere because we honor tradition. This is how we should build our society. 
Unlock Hunting Trip Community Action. The Ice Bloods will send some people into the Frostlands to hunt game. Okay, they seek to pass. Expedition support. Allow productive outsiders. Ceremonial funerals. Okay. Ice Bloods. I like the sound of that. We need to make them trust us. Okay, we can. It's time to vote again. Uh, so we have one in economy and society. What about survival? That's the food additives and the goods. Okay, no. What about society? No. Is it survival? Economy, I mean. Outsiders. Here we go. Allow productive. Oh, yeah, and the ice bloods. <laughs> Shall we go full on Prime, ice blood? Happy 17, April. <laughs> Thank you, Enya, very much for spending your Prime here. Thank you for the support. 70 months. 70 month subscription is insane. Thank you. And happy 17th to you too. You called in sick today. Just finished another chapter in your book. I'm glad you're taking it slow. Get well soon, Grey Fox. Um, Ixian. I didn't play Ixian. I'm not into sci-fi. I do play some sci-fi games, but not, you know. Um, I like that. The, the ice blood support it. We only let out, outsiders in who will contribute to the city's economy and turn away the, the unproductive. Okay. I think that's already really good. They're divided. But... How many do we need for this? Why is, why is that thingy here? That's not the... Mm, that is not the threshold, right? The threshold just needs to be over the majority. So 51 votes is what we need, right? Wondering, are children considered productive? That is a good question, Shepin. Um, the children that we have in our city, they are productive because we have uh, we have enacted the law of family apprenticeship, which means that all children have to work with a family member. So I would assume that children, that outsider children, are also productive because they will then also have to work with one of the family members. Always at least 51, yeah. Okay, thank you, Rem. It's not yet Friday, but soon, Enya. Midweek is here. Uh, yeah, the dividers are probably just to distinguish between for, hesitant, and against. Yeah. Um. Oh, but look at... Wait, you don't see this? But look at this. We are accepted. So this is good. This is really good here. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get 51 for this. Maybe we want to negotiate. Mostly hesitant. Yeah, of course, they want this, and that's fine. Mostly hesitant. We're going to negotiate. Well, I guess maybe I should negotiate with... Oh. If I negotiate with the foragers and they all join, that is only 49. So we need at least two people from the machinists, but we're going to get... Oh, wait, hang on. Ten machinists already voting for it, so yeah, that's, that's going to work out then. I can't always choose the machinists, right? So what do you want? Grant agenda. Ah, uh, no, that's, that's, that's too much. Demolish the grinding coal mine? No. Expedition support. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare for their journeys. How... How do I do this? Enact? How, I'm not sure how to enact policies yet. But I guess we could try it. And see what happens. Hmm. I'll, I'll promise them something and then we'll, we'll do it for science. 
Okay, vote, my people, vote. The delegates have spoken. Very good. The law takes effect. 78 voted for it. So far, so good. Promise of fort. Oh god, there's a timer on this. 40 weeks for this. How do I do this? Here's the agenda. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How do I? Ah! Mmm. Have some workforce crime, population growth. What? Da, 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 da. Economy. Camera by now. Oh no! I see it's temperature. I don't know how to do this. Okay, um, that's uh, fine. Absolutely fine. Maybe, maybe here, council hall, no. We can still put the generator in overdrive. I like this. Very good. You're a good leader because you promised them a lot of things. This is how this works, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I might just fail this because I don't know how to do it. Okay, yeah, so we're making... Uh, materials. This is for the materials. This is for the... Food. Glow mop. Hello. Thank you so much, uh, Resub. 16 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Hope you have a wonderful day. Industrial. That was for the goods thingy. Right, so we need... Oh, and I, I don't have enough heat stamps for it. I I completely ruined this run already, I think. But that's okay. Max Horkheimer, 29 researcher. Looks at Iceblood's members leaving the Institute. They keep looking at my hands. Every day. They come and pester me about my work. What are you doing right now? Can we push the other research along? Why are you halting the drafting of the law we discussed yesterday? They want to influence what we do. Ice bloods. Feh. <laughs> Ice bloods want to steer the city closer to their ideals. I don't think that's a bad idea. I kinda like the ice bloods. Um Research. Right. Okay, so the hot houses thing is done. We can we can build this. Sawmills. Is that for materials? Ah, it requires an extraction district with a frozen forest deposit. Is that what we have? Oh, so wait, that costs heat stamps and I I can't use my heat stamps for this right now. Food. The bio waste drum hothouse. We're gonna build this here. So that we will hopefully make more food. And then... I only have 32, but I need 120 for the goods district. Industrial district to make the goods. Okay. Well, you know, it'll, it'll be okay. And the food? We're providing enough food for the people. Okay, okay, that's at least one thing. Growing hunger. Stuart, with hunger becoming a pressing concern, you must find practical solutions to address the growing food shortage and ensure our people are fed. We either can think about improving methods of growing food in the city or look for more sources of it. Exploring new territories can enhance our possibilities in that matter. Hunger has risen to a concerning level. Build food districts, research buildings, or search the frostland to fight it. Well, okay, so I, I did that already. This is good. The hunger should go down now. It's diminishing. Very good. And now we just tackle the next thing. But I'm I'm seriously I, I I need to figure out how to do this. I'm not sure. I made a promise to the foragers that we pass the expedition supports. Oh, maybe that's the Maybe that's just the law. Hang on. Survival? No. Outsiders? Nope. Well, uh, I thought maybe it's something here, but um, unknown. The unknown chat. I don't. I don't know how to do it. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. So we need more heat stamps. 120. Then we build an industrial district. Then we build a special building. With that, we get more heat stamps. And then we should be okay. We just need to make it past that, really. That's, that's what we're going to do. After a short break. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy this. Follow if you haven't yet. Uh, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'll be right back with more Frostpunk 2 beta. I'm excited. So far, we haven't been um, thrown off the council. Or, and I don't really know where we are. But we're still the steward. Let's see how long we can keep that, that position. It is week 77 out of 300. I'll be right back. Thank you. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Frostpunk. Frostpunk 2! The beta is here. We're playing it. I'm excited. Um, do we, yes, okay. I'm unmuted this. Welcome back to you too. Hello! Uh, yeah, so we need, we need more heat stamps, right? That is what we need to focus on. So, first, we need to wait for the next week. Yes. Now we make an industrial district. And that can go wherever. So I think we're going to put it out there. Shared workers. Very good. Yes. Okay. I like that. The synergies between them. Oh, 
All right. There we will produce goods. I'm not sure how many. And then we have that special building. The refurbished goods factory. 180 stamps. We need to wait for that. Something's happening here. The city grows. Stuart, a new count has revealed significant growth in our population in recent weeks. Some attribute the rise to an influx of settlers from the Frostland, others to births outnumbering deaths. Whatever the cause, we've adjusted our calculations of the city's needs to reflect the new numbers. There are almost 1,600 more people in the city. Okay. All right, food is just absolutely, you know, on the limit, but okay. We need a bit more shelter. We need more materials. We need lots more goods. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough stamps for this yet. What is this? Demands and requirements. Ah, <sighs> okay. If those are not fulfilled, the district will cease to function and will be disabled. Yeah, which would be bad, right? Okay. Districts also have their demands. Requirements are listed in the top. Fulfill them all. All factors that increase the demands are listed in the total demand. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Christopher. How are you? Hi, hi. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Cutthroat economy. Paid essentials. You like Frostpunk? Me too. Me too. And this is Frostpunk 2. We get to have an early look at this. Stuart, now that we are charging for essentials, some unemployed families are unable to afford basic necessities. Work goes through the worthiest. If these people were passed up, it's their own damn fault. They should put them in the work instead of expecting the city to solve their problems, claimed an Ice Bloods delegate. Others are more measured and say we could provide them with a weekly allowance. If we can't afford them work, we will give them budget. Up to them to use it wisely. What should we do? Yeah, well, you're just starting work. Well, have a good work day then. Thank you for, for being here. Allocate an allowance. Provides less heat stamps. No, no, no. Let them fend for themselves. I like, I like this animation of you mouse over something and then just... Whoop. It opens up and gives you more explanation. Handouts make people helpless. Paid essential remains unchanged. Viva Ice Bloods! Alright, get up, son. Time to get a haircut and find a job. Yeah, I'm, I'm already dark hearing my way through this. But that's okay. We. We just have to wait for a bit now. Hunting trip. The ice plus will send some people to Frostle. 80 food output. And. Oh, I'm not sure what it said here. I sent them out on a hunting trip. It doesn't cost me anything and I get more food. Oh. I like that. Alright, you go hunt. I have enough now, so. Uh, the refurbished goods factory. This is not it. Yeah. And then we need to look at this. What were we... Might have forgotten to do anything here in a while. Filtration towers? What is that for? That is for housing. Moss filtration. Squalor is doing decrease i see all right the worker shift the advanced hot houses logistics bay this is for we don't have a logistics district yet the outpost team generator upgrade is not available in the preview advanced goods factory Construction costs. 
is a lot. Oof, we will see. It might cost me influence with the other factions later on. Possibly. It didn't it didn't say so. Possibly. Alright, let's go for the sawmills now. Untreated wood sawmill. 170 output. The mechanized sawmill 300. Oh no, that's a white first. 200 output. But more heat. A lot more heat. Untreated wood sawmill. Okay, that's the same. Neutral, neutral, favorable. Well, the ice bloods want this. I can't develop the idea. I can't afford it. Okay. But we'll wait another week. Squalor. It means that your citizens have to endure polluted air and overwhelming dirt and filth in the city. It raises when there are not enough materials. Materials to meet the demand for the maintenance of the city. That makes sense. High squalor increases disease and tension, decreases population growth. Squalor also causes recurring events that damage random districts, which is indicated by the district's wear. When wear reaches its maximum limit, the target district turns off due to malfunction. And then it needs to be repaired. Is this happening? Is that why you... Uh, it's notable. Oh no. Alright, we... We're producing enough goods, chat. We actually have a surplus. <gasps> okay. Materials are bad, though. But we don't have enough materials. So we need to focus on that. And the way to do so... Wait, hang on. We want... More material output, right? We're going to develop an idea. Wood remaining. So this is frozen wood here. Right, and we can we can vote another law. So we need to pass expedition support, whatever that is. And wherever that is. Hello, Hysteric. Welcome, welcome. Food additives, no goods. Supported by the machinists. In order to come scarcity, we will organize production lines. Ah, but the ice plots want this. Small step towards adaptation. What? Where, where is that thing? Oh, is this here? Ah, and it highlights it. This is so smart. Okay, so we need to vote on that. We, we kind of promised them that we're going to vote on that. I think we can do that. Hello, Tilly Mac. Welcome. How are you today? So, economy, community service, expedition support. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare for their journeys. Exploration time is decreased. Oh, there's actually a lot that we could vote on. But foragers and icebloods want this. We're going to propose this. And we're just going to vote because we have 49 votes for it. We've got 26 against, but I'm sure we're going to get two more for it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? Yes, yes, okay. Oh, oh we got it. Oh, love the scarf. Thank you. This is a this is a Frostpunk 2 scarf. That's why I'm wearing it. You can't you can't see that, of course. But it says the city must not fall. The law was passed. Law passed. No promises had to be made. Good. Promise to foragers kept. The foragers are delighted you kept your word. They now look upon your rule more positively and consider you a leader with integrity. Relations improve and trust rises. Ah, we're so good. It's just a bit useless because we don't do expeditions yet. But that is that is not the problem right now. We are... Well, this is going to take a while. So. Yep, I can't do anything. What is this? 
Sue Miller 12, Apprentice, again. Spinning dog hair into yarn. She was she was the one who talked about taking a razor blade to somebody's eyes. Um, am I a tyrant yet? Well, I wouldn't say so. But we have established some laws. So for one, children have to be apprentices now. So child labor in a way. And we only allow outsiders in who are actually useful and can work. So, you know. So sad that Frostpunk Congress works so much better than America's. Oh, Nix. Yeah. Um, Bread in a Box. This is brand, brand new. Um, and it's not out yet. So this week, there is a beta for Frostpunk 2, which we're playing right now. The game will release in July. 25th of July, and, and yeah, so this is brand new. It's a preview build for the sandbox mode, and just giving us a taste of the gameplay, of what it's going to be like. You're not familiar with it. It looks interesting. You're playing planet crafting. Now I get that. So this is a city builder. It's in a post-apocalyptic world. It's actually the sequel to Frostpunk, but you don't have to have played Frostpunk in order to play this. A post-apocalyptic city builder survival game, but with a on a much larger scale than Frostpunk, and with a heavy focus on society. Thought so far, it's really good. I like it. I I don't like the camera movement because the camera, when you press a button to move the camera, the camera just moves forward. It's like it's slipping on ice, right? I'm not sure if that was intentional because you know ice and just. Whoo, but so the camera controls a bit, uh. Gameplay wise, I really like the way it's done. That you take Frostpunk but made it different. This is really cool. But I also, I'm also slightly sad about, you know, the bright UI. Everything just, you know, well, this is a society. It's a big city. People are doing okay-ish. It's not as dreadful. And I really like the dreadful, dark, hopeless, desperate part of Frostpunk. But... It's good and I'm enjoying it. So Sue Miller has something to say. Ouch! My finger! These fucking spindles. Miss Boss Lady keeps choking. I'll fall asleep and get woken up by Prince. I don't get it. If a prince came near me, I'd rob him blind. Then make him do the bloody spinning. But it's alright. Gonna beat my record today. Strong, nice yarn. Auntie team Mabel says. If I can weave, I can work with her at the mill. He's freezing in the streets. Family apprenticeship promises a better future for the children of the city. Look at that, we did something good for Sue. And apparently she also realizes that. I tried the first one, wasn't very good at it, so you gave up. Right. It's it's hard, definitely, but also amazing. I love Frostpunk. Separated families. Stuart. A large group of people has set up camp outside the city by one of our checkpoints. They claim to be relatives of outsiders we let in. My daughter's alone in there, such a distressed mother. You need to let me in, she needs me. After checking, we told her that her daughter, a 15-year-old laundress, is safe and doing well, but the mother won't budge. Like her, the others are refusing to leave until they are let in. What should we do? Relax the law. To keep families together. If someone qualifies for entry, we will let those close relatives in as well. Keep a strict selection. Relations marginally improve with ice bloods. It doesn't say that relations with the other factions um, it, uh, worsen. So... We're all for the ice bloods, right? We'll stay strict. I'm sorry, you can't go. Nope. Nope. Let's find out, right? Sorry, we won't let you in. 34 more sick people and unable to work in the city. Okay, that's bad. We need we need those materials. Quickly. I can't make materials. But also, we need more shelter. So, I don't know why the camera moved over here. Uh, dense housing district. Do we have a building? 
for housing. Ah, oh, that's just a research institute. Can't fit another one here. Well, okay. Well, I guess we will add another housing district then. Because we need 10 more housing. So there's that at least. And as for the materials, uh, yeah, well. We need to wait for heat stamps. But we get 20 heat stamps per week now. It's okay, I guess. Family's unity, unity strength. Yeah, Garvin. You're you're right, but also ice bloods seem to be very strong. I am for the ice bloods, yes. Report all leaks and damages to the nearest maintenance office. Hello. <laughs> love it. Icebloods rallies build support. We're fighting a polar bear. Look at that. Stuart, the Icebloods have started gathering for rallies supporting your rule. Showing off frostbite scars and almost inhuman resistance to colds. They enthrall passersby with fears, uh, feats of strength and endurance. One of them stripped half naked and wrestled a bear with bare hands. Cold and hard to steel, a man like that could survive anything, sad and onlooker. What could we become if we cast away superficial gizmos and rely on inner strength? The Icebloods proclaim several things they believe will improve the city even further. Do you want to support one of them? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so. Promise the research to research dutiful youth. A society built upon tradition. Promise to research unprotect unproductive due maintenance. Built on merit. Okay. Promise to research weather adjusted shifts. Adaptation. Unproductive due maintenance. I'm not sure what that means exactly. You can take taxes from people. If you have enough reputation. Oh. I see. I see. We can we can tax them. I like this new mechanics uh, where if you put the housing district next to another, the heat increases. The synergies between the districts. I really like that too. That's very smart. Okay, so I think weather adjusted shifts would be a good idea. Okay. We'll go for this. There's a rally thing. Factions can engage in rallies if they have positive relations with you and tension in the city is low. During rallies, they show their support for your decisions, celebrate the direction of the city and propose the next steps towards the direction in line with their views. Good. Ah, then they also gain members, of course. Gain influence over the district. We'll engage in positive events. Okay. We don't want to disperse the rally. No. There's so much. There's so much. But that is okay. Ah, request funds, right? That is the tax you mean? I would assume. We can't do any research right now, so we've got to wait anyways. And for the next... Oh, here. Oh, okay, pause. Industry. Where do we put this? Woo. Oopsie. Oh, I actually haven't uncovered any of this. No! Okay, we have to go this way. We need to... Frost break. If I select this, yes. We need to frost break our way... Here. Is this on it? Oh no, it's not. Guess, I guess we want to 
go over there, but then we also want a bit more space here, and then we need this too, so... I don't really know. Okay, so we're gonna frost break here. And then we can vote another law, and we need to vote on... Uh... I forgot what it was. It's gonna tell me, right? not telling me. oh no, it was research it was research never mind because we've got something here funerals nobody's dying we don't need to <clears throat> we don't need to look at funerals right we we, we could tax them but i don't want to i don't want to make them angry at me yet yet because it's probably going to happen anyways contagion prevention survival how about the goods? Although we have that right now. Um, food additives. Okay. Gotta add some um, food additives. I'm afraid we're gonna go for foraged additives. I don't think sawdust is foraged, but you know, the ice bloods want, want that. The reputation only goes down one level after taking taxes. Like, it's good to know. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. We'll... We'll propose this one. And I'm just going to vote for it. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Right? Ice bloods? Yes. Yeah. Easy. 57. That's uh, no problem at all. All right, we have foraged additives. So instead of sawdust, we get... A... <laughs> what can you forage in in a white wasteland like this? I'm not sure. But we'll add it to the food. Llewellyn, how are you today? Happy third Monday. Some might also call it Wednesday. Saw bits? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What is this? Is that the rally? This is the symbol. It's the symbol of the ice blood. I think this is where they rally right now. Okay, you, you go ahead and have fun there. They are devoted to me. Look at that. They're favorable. They're neutral. Ah. Ah, we like them. Snow of varying colors. <laughs> With a sprinkling of snow on your food. The foragers and ice plots share most of the interest. They do share a lot, yes, but I guess the ice plots are a bit more... Um... Extreme. Good. We're getting another industrial... Not enough cells to finish the district. What do you mean? Two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's weird. Oh no! Why can I not? One, two, three, four, five. That's weird. Provide one more building stuff. Okay, how about... Yeah, apparently I need more space. Maybe it can't be in a line. Oh, no. Okay. We will ice break more space. Alright, it's, it's gonna take a while. I'm just very concerned about this very concerned about this but it's okay oh i heard the sound dr roberta neumann 27 chemist frightened by growing presence of ice bloods the city is changing we started a family here we bore children we toiled against the hardships like everybody else but now these ice bloods they walk around telling people what to do what to think what they spout, though, is utter folly. 
It's everything that made us. I, we, will not have it. The fate of our children is at stake. We will chart the path for our city. Technocrats have formed in opposition to the Icebloods. No, I love that so many people seem to have tattoos on their face. I love that. This is amazing. But technocrats, come on. Ah, oh, okay. A new voice. Oh, they look very much like the... The old Frostpunk. Here. You're building the right district. I feel like I was. Yeah, I just said it needed more space. The technocrats. 10% of the city, they're opposing me. Tech-minded and calculating people, recruiting those who value a cold and rational argument. Their manifest is progress, equality, and reason. All right. They want mandatory school, accept all outsiders, city development effort. Yeah, they're clearly against whatever I do. Well, it's unfortunate. Okay, we've got more space here. The industrial district. I was I was building the wrong thing, I think, actually. I was building the wrong thing. Hi, Frey. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today? Welcome. This is working. We need to start here, right? Okay. Someone subbed. 42 months. <laughs> Frey with the resub. Thank you so much for the 42 months and the tier two. Thank you for the extra support. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Hello. I was I was clicking on the wrong district. It happens. It's a curie difficulty. It's okay. Untreated wood sawmill. Okay, new building. So. And now. I can't afford it. I need... 26 more. Okay. We'll get there. Oh, but research also costs something, so I can't do that. Okay, we're, go we're gonna wait for 80 heat stamps. It's all gonna be fine, I promise. Wait, give me more time. I need more time. Hello, Bolero. Good afternoon. How are you today? You're doing well, Frey. I'm glad to hear that. Frostpunk is um, <clears throat> going well. Taxes? You really want me to tax them, right? Frostpunk is... Um, you know, we had a bit of a rough start. It's not It's not green. Okay, it's, it's not turning green. We're building this. To get more wood from from this sawmill okay here difficulty on the frost sheet always means someone dies possibly the children kiri the children will die uh the children are working as apprentices already i i made sure the children are off the streets you did well right I like the ball right in the middle showing tensions rising oh <gasps> is that what it does it is it is rising. By notable squalor. Oh, also, he oh, this is so cool. Look at that anima animation. We need to do something against squalor. Because it's... Okay, what we're actually doing something against it by building more... In... No. Extraction. Uh, what's it called? Extraction districts. And the sawmill thing. Okay, look at this. Oh, yes. We have a good surplus. Ah, oh, finally. All right, it's all going to be fine. Perfectly fine. We got this. Okay, and now... Oh, there's something here. I didn't hear that. Okay. Matt, welcome. I'm always looking out for the children. I need to know where they are so that I can avoid them, right? We've got the materials. Finally. Hi there, see. Yes, it's it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And the music again. Ah. Oh, I thought the red ball was health and the blue ball was mana. It's a different game. An old enemy. Stuart. It was only a matter of time. We had an unusually long streak of mild weather. But now meteorologists are clear. There's a familiar drop in air pressure at higher altitudes. A whiteout is coming. The wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun. Without shelter and ample fuel, our people will be at mortal risk. 
we have to prepare. A whiteout arrives in 80 weeks. Heat demand will increase greatly during the whiteout. We will be ready. Will we though? Wait, what just happened? Why does this... Why did it change? Why do I have not anything available? Wait, 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 wait. This is weird. Anyway, we need to research the weather adjusted shifts. Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to be ready, but we'll see. The worker shifts. The weather adjusted. Okay. The weather adjusted shift. So. They wanted to call a whiteout or blizzard first, but they thought it had too many negative connotations. <laughs> You're just making that up. I like whiteout, though. Um... Okay, so uh, to protect worker health, workplaces must adapt working hours to the weather conditions. Heat demand is slightly decreased, disease is slightly decreased, but the resource production efficiency is also decreased. Machine adjusted, weather adjusted, machine is. Yeah, I'm sorry, we've got to go for the ice blood ones. Although, I guess it doesn't matter. Does it matter which one I support here? This is for the quest, right? So I'll say I'm going to do this for the foragers. Actually, I don't know. Develop idea. It doesn't cost anything. Okay, let's let's check. No, I need to do this for the ice bloods. I don't think it matters, but okay. We'll do this for free. And studying right now. Hello, I'm from Austria. My accent is supposed to sound British, but if it sounds a bit weird, then that's because there's German in there. With more groups, you get more options. Not really. It's just that you see who wants what. It's still two choices. Well, well, we still had two choices, but it showed me who wants what, basically. Yeah. We can do things for free. So, what? Okay, and a new law. Do we do we need anything? Goods. All right. Other than that, we've got maybe contagion prevention. I think that might be a good thing to get. The infection badge. I don't think we can do that. Supported quarantine. We're gonna go with a supported quarantine to appease the technocrats a bit, right? Because they're the opposition. Hi, Carlos. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy that. And have a good day at work. Thanks for being here. Contagious people will be placed in quarantine. The city will provide them with extra food rations to speed their recovery. Shelter availability but per capita is slightly decreased. But that's okay. Supported by the technocrats, uh, propose. 26 are for it, so I definitely need to negotiate. The ice bloods won't negotiate, the technocrats also not, but they want it anyways. They don't want it. They are mostly hesitant. Yeah, no, that's, that's too much. I don't want to just... Here, I'm gonna negotiate with the... Actually, I should negotiate with the foragers, because they're closer to the... To the ice bloods. Um, you dig the aesthetic of the tech tree. It's very nice. I like... It's very... It's very clean. Very modern looking. The UI. Um, I'm just a bit sad that it's light except for here in the council bright i mean Hero difficulty aside are you liking the game absolutely yes i really enjoy it 
I don't want to interfere, but do you really think going 100% ice blow is the way to go? They might not be right on every single issue. <laughs> do you have concerns? We'll see. Hi, lane train. You bought the first one from watching me, so interested to see how this one plays. It plays so differently, but really good, actually. Well, good morning to you, Collis. It's good to have you. The foragers like me already. Maybe we're gonna... I don't know. What, what do you want from me? Grant an agenda. That sounds not good. That also sounds not good. City development efforts. Oh, but we already have another one. We already have a, another policy enacted. The foragers? What do you want? An agenda. Build... Oh, here we go. Build untreated wood sawmill. We can build one in the other district that we've got. I can grant them that because I want that anyways. I'm so smart. This is what we're gonna do. Tail Quail, hello. Welcome. Have you well today? <clears throat> Sorry. My throat is so dry over the last couple of days. <laughs> oh no, Frey. After four years of living under the rulership of Dark Kiri, you've learned to go with the flow and pray for her mercy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I feel slightly bad about this. You're wondering yesterday why I didn't play it. Because I didn't have a key. I didn't have a key. I... Um... I had to poke 11 bit studios, studios about the key again. Because they didn't send me one. And then I... And then I had to poke them and say, Hey, you know, you, you kind of promised me a key. Can I have one? And they gave me a key. So it's just... Oh, we're playing it now. Of course, there's also RimWorld. And RimWorld is awesome. But, I mean, Frostpunk... Frostpunk, of course. We're gonna vote now. We're gonna vote to support supported quarantine. That was brilliant. I, I the know the words. It was passed. Okay, very good. We have promised something now to the foragers to build to build a thing. Let's build a thing. Untreated wood sawmill. Good. I'm gonna get that done uh, immediately. Months of whiteout conditions ahead. Can we survive? Oh, wait, we don't have enough heat. Ooh, the generator's not making enough heat, chat. I should have thought about that. Whoopsie. So that's something we need to tackle. And we had the votes go against us yet? No, no, we haven't. I made sure that everybody was voting for whatever I wanted to vote for. A month is only a few seconds in game. Kind of, yeah. Dark Kiri has no mercy. Who knows? Annie Evans, 15, recently arrived laundress. Oh, do you remember her? We didn't, we didn't let her mother in. Scrubbing a shirt lost in her thoughts. I miss her. Go on in, she said. I'll join you later. I was deemed useful. My only merit is that I'm young and fit. I've lost a hand to frostbite providing for my family. Life here is so much better than out there. But I miss her. Every day I lose more hope. Will I ever see you again, Mom? You refuse to relax the allow productive outsiders to allow family members to join their kid. Here we go. This is what I've missed. This is that, you know... That gritty part of Frostpunk, the you make a decision and it's going to bite you in the ass. And I, I I like that. I like that so much. Here we go. Annie, the Ice Bloods will be your new mother. Yeah, right? It's going to be okay. Join the Ice Bloods. It'll be fine. Perfect. What? We're talking about Dark Yuri? We might be. So, about the generator, right? Okay, we kept the promise that we made to the foragers. Relation improves and trust rises. Good. The steward promised them some nonsense. Is what the technocrats say. Um. Okay, hang on. Uh, 
uh, generator. So we could put it into overdrive. By 40%, strains it in the process. Can be turned on safely for 30 weeks. This is... 150. Okay, so th those are weeks. We don't know how long the whiteout lasts, but at least 30 weeks. This is, uh, but 40% is not going to cut it. Oh no. Oh no, we need to do something with the generator chat. The generator is your mother now, okay. You can't play this game, it's too sad. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have that problem. There's different factions have different political views. They do. Some of them align, of course. So here you've got the foragers. And in this scenario, you start with the foragers and then you have the, the machinists. And they have opposing views, mostly. And then we had the ice bloods come forward. They are very radical, very extreme. But ice bloods and foragers align slightly. And then in opposition to the ice bloods, the technocrats formed. So since I am pro ice bloods right now, the techno technocrats are very much opposing me. So yes, they have different political views and you have to kind of, you know, work out the balancing act. That problem being emotions and morals. Yes. Yes, indeed, I reckon. And you might be laughing here now, but I, so I do have emotions. I'm not a robot, sadly. If if I could, I would. Um, but you might be laughing about this. I am in therapy and I'm working with my therapist on identifying emotions. Because that is very difficult for me. So, uh, yes, this is, you know, I just... I laugh, I guess. This war of mine did get you in the feels. Yeah, no, that's true. That, that did get me a bit. So what exactly is the ice blood symbol? I think it's a mountain. It's a mountain with like wings on it. Do you see? No, my chair is in front of it. Here? I think this is the biggest I can make it. So it's a mountain with wings. That's it. Therapy for the win, absolutely. That's really helping. Not freezing to death should be the main political view. That, that is a good one, yeah. We should all work towards that, right? You're too immersed if you play by yourself. You're enjoying watching through the stream. Well, I'm glad you can watch, though. It's good. You get it? You identify your emotions based on how badly you want to shake other, dr other drivers when they cut you off. <laughs> That's fair. Thank you, Jess. No, I, I am facing this. It's, it's not easy, though. Okay, so... Um, let's just unpause, and then we... We wait for research to be done. Because, yeah, lack of workforce. Let's do it. There's a lack of spare labor in the city. We're all stretched thin. It may be wise to seek laws or transport structures that will help us get more done. Otherwise, we may have to pr prioritize what work gets done. Which districts stay open and which we close for now. The workforce is limited. We also need more shelter again. I guess that's because of the quarantine thing. Um, frost break. We need to make our way over here. Is that it? Yeah, that is the tile. All right, we're gonna frost break over there. And then we're making materials surplus. Now suddenly we have more materials. If we turn this off. We're not gonna have enough. Ah, what can you do? Oh, 
Oh, warmer season. Okay, this is good. We have we have that heat problem. I'm gonna I need to figure this out. Oh, yeah. Hi there, Medusa Skirt. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. Technocrats begin protesting. Stuart, the technocrats have been growing skeptical towards the direction you lead the city in. Now they decided to protest, blocking all activity in the district. This city is changing, and for the worse. More decisions like this, and it will endanger everything we stand for. They demand you re repeal allow productive outsiders. They will keep protesting until you respect their demands, or force them to disperse. They also dislike family apprenticeship, paid essentials, and expedition support. Okay, my options are we repeal this. You'll have 20 weeks to keep the promise. The protests won't spread during that time. Others may become agitated by this promise. Or we can ignore it. The protests will disperse if you improve relations to neutral. But I have... I don't think I have a way to improve the relations to neutral, so... I unfortunately don't have enough guards to to quell that protest. Declare martial law. Okay, we can't do that. Disperse. I can't. I don't have the guards for it. The technocrats are Silicon Valley folks, aren't they? I guess. They probably are like that, yeah. Well, hmm. If I repeal this and we change it to everybody's allowed to come in, then that does not fix our workforce issue because they are not productive, meaning they're not potential workforce, right? It's just more people, more mouths to feed. What do we do? If I ignore them... I'll ignore them for now. The district is not working. That's the food district. You stupid. Okay, maybe if we make a promise. They're still opposing though. One hundred heat stamps to improve the relations. Promote. Publicly announce your support for this your support for this faction. Oof. What if we? Oh, we can promote the ice bloods. We can't do that, of course. Now. Uh, we're gonna fund their projects. Okay, they're still opposing. Wait, we need to do something else. It's too soon to do that again, which, yeah, makes sense. We could make a promise. The promise would be... Research liberated youth. Is that... Oh, I can't get out of this. Well, we can... Research is easy. We can do research. Doesn't have to mean that we do that. As in, yes, we research, but then we have to... Don't have to actually build or enact whatever we research, right? I think that is good. This is what we're going to do. The kids start working at age seven. That will liberate them. I'm going to say we'll research this. We've got 40 weeks. Okay. But that's still not going to help me with, with the heat. But something, I guess. Can't build any of this. Ooh, well, we just broke through here, right? I kept the promise to the ice bloods. So so we're good. 
Liberated youth. Okay, so... Where would I find that? Have you noticed that the cracks in the ice turn kind of golden towards what I've researched? Woodworks, ironworks, advanced goods factories, sawmills. Oh, no chat, I think. Squalor. I think I don't even know where liberated youth is. What is this? Uh, pyrochemical oil extractor, but that is not available in the preview. Worker obsolence, not available in the preview. I think I made a promise that I can't keep. <laughs> uh oh. Autonomous heater. Well, I think I need to go for. No, the generator upgrade is not available. I forgot about that. What are we gonna do? The meter lasts 300 weeks, yeah. Frostpunk was like. a couple of weeks? Days? Weeks? What does the filtration tower do? That was for the squalor, right? Yes. Waste heat conversion. Redirect excess heat from industrial machines to housing districts and infrastructure, increasing the heat available in the city. Okay, that'd be good. Or the machinists want the heat reinjection. The excess heat produced by industrial machines will be reinjected back into the machines to allow them to operate at higher capacity. Ah, I see. The technocrats are currently skeptical of me. Heat output is extremely increased. Oh no. The technocrats are not gonna like me if I do this. But it's gonna... Um... Why is that image here? Oh, is that the image of the ice bloods? Oh! <gasps> They're experimenting with something. Ooh. Ooh, I see. Hi, Lulagress. Posture check. That's a redemption. Channel point redemption. But, um, yeah, posture check for everybody if you'd like. Maybe it's in the society tab. Oh! <gasps> no! No! Richter, I didn't realize there was a tech tree. I didn't... Okay, okay, okay. I did not see those tabs. I thought this is the tech tree. Oh, no. There's society. It actually... Oh, I did not... No! <laughs> the cure difficulty. I did not see this. There are three tech trees. <laughs> You're right. It's, it's here. Youth. Look at that. Um... Dutiful youth. Or the technocrats liberated youth. But wait, what did I promise now? Liberated youth. Okay. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Li liberated. Okay. Young adults are encouraged to experiment free from arbitrary bounds and judgments. Experiment in... in what? Okay, but yeah, no, we'll... I can... I can give you that. That's... I did... Richter, thank you! Thank you. I did not see that. How... how did I not see that? Alright. Thank you. Hi, Daniel. It's right there. The game is going to make you waste so much time when it comes out. Why Why would you say waste? If you enjoy playing it, is it really time wasted? 
You think this is just a demo, right? We're just we're just for science trying the things. Um. No, I did I did find it before the three hour mark. Just so. Just so. All right, we can we can vote on something. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we researched the weather adjusted shifts and now we have to vote on it. There is no other way. People are divided. Currently 42 are against it. Is this... Okay, the game is paused. Twitch is going to run some ads. After the ads, I'm going to figure this out because I'm not sure if we need to vote in a certain way now to make somebody happy or not. But first short break. Follow if you haven't yet. Make sure notifications are on. Subscribe on YouTube. Click the bell button and I'll be right back. Thank you so much. This is exciting. Frostpunk 2. I'm having fun. I hope you do.
Hello, hello. I made it back. I just had a couple strawberries. There we go. Frostpunk. Frostpunk 2. Um, yeah. Yadreth, thank you so much for the resub. Time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. Thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome back. Enjoy the emails again. And more fun, hopefully. <sighs> you hope everyone is taking good care of themselves. Sleep well, eat well. Take your time for breaks. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, yes. More emotes. More cute emotes, exactly. So, we need to vote. Um, It doesn't say that anymore here, right? We need to vote. And it's a special vote. Whether adjusted shifts. The foragers did want that. You're right. So... Is there a history going on at the food district? A history? Do you mean a, like a like a story pop up? Um, there is there is a riot, uh, not a riot, a protest. Until the technocrats, either until I promise something or like I I do what they want me to do, which I don't, or until they um they are neutral to me, I think. It's a two healing. It's healing very, very nicely. And um, the scab is almost off. So there's... <laughs> I, feel like a, I feel like a snake. And I'm in the process of getting new skin, right? And I'm shedding my skin. And there are bits and pieces of tattoo skin all over the apartment. It's kind of funny. Mystery thinks it's gross. I think it's funny. But it's healing really nicely. It's almost... Yeah. Okay. So... I don't think we need to negotiate. I think we can just... Can we just vote? Yeah, because only 17 are for it. But they wanted this anyways. All of the ice bloods, but we have 17 more. Oh, that would only be... Nine, uh, uh, 49. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be really close. I'm just gonna let them vote, but that's gonna be very close. I think. 42. Uh, 32. The, have it. Ooh, the law was rejected. Why, though? Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to understand this now. The weather adjusts shifts. I thought that was something good for them. Maybe they don't want it because I want it. Oh yeah, but there's there's something going on, going on here as well. You're right. The ongoing protests. Stuart, if you don't want to negotiate with a protesting faction, guards can disperse them. However, if you improve relations, the protests will also cease. To this end, we can fund the projects to appease them. Granting them agenda is a fair way to give them a chance at changing the city. Otherwise, we can make a promise to change a different matter that concerns them, or promote the faction as a whole. And I have done two of these things. Oh, I'm, I did one. I funded the projects, and I'm working on the promise that I made them. So, I'm aware. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, the research is what we're doing now. There's a new law available, but I can't do that right now. And so... I just unpause? And wait? I think? Politics. I know Jesus from hell. This is this is very political. Yes, it's, it's kind of a... A society city builder in a way. Yeah. I'm sure I could have convinced some of them. Yeah. Oh no, we've got so many sick people. <gasps> Our resource depots are full. For the materials. Can I put this... We don't have space for it. So if I expand this, I'll get another building slot.
All right, we're gonna expand this. Put put a put a depot in it. Yeah. Ninety four just joined the ice bloods. Ooh. Ooh. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Now we build nothing. Now we wait a week. Now we build the materials depot. Okay, wait. Oh, what happened to the food? Oh, it's because oh, you technocrats. Uh, what's happening to the food is we're not making any food because they're occupying our only food district. The people can shift factions, yes. Apparently they can. The game is less pizza than Frostpunk. It absolutely is. Yes. You're loving the politics vibe of the game? <sighs> I... I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, honestly. Promise that the technocrats kept. They are delighted I kept my word. Relations improve, trust rises. Shoot. I pressed space while something popped up, so I'm not sure what happened now. But here, they are neutral now, so we don't have to protest anymore. Yeah, go away. Delegates session. Okay, a vote is going to be held soon. Just come on. Come on, we need the food. What is this? All deposits extracted. Districts are depleted. Oh, come on. Okay, they're going home. We're making food again. 1900 more people live among us. But also, this district... This is hilarious, Chad. <laughs> oh, no. I just expanded the district and I put a, dep uh, a depot here. But... It's depleted. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's, um, that's great. So we're going to enable this here again. Oh, but you know what that means? Next time I try to get somebody's vote and they say, Hey, I want you to destroy the untreated sawmill building. I can say yes, and then I can destroy the one that we don't use anymore. Big brain. Big brain, I tell you. Okay, we need we need research. Oh wait, we're actually voting on another thing. Liberated youth. Young adults are encouraged to experiment free from arbitrary bounds and judgments. small step towards reason i don't care just do whatever i only did that because the technocrats wanted it Fury for president i don't want to be president the nope the law, the law was rejected you know oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry the, the council didn't vote for it oh too bad i'm just you know we let the people speak right as you would as you wanted can't you just make them disappear we don't <laughs> Here for dictator. I also don't want to be a dictator. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel very good about this now. Okay. So look at this. There's so much more research. What? What? Watchtowers. Command posts or guards are quartered to maintain order in the city. Mm hmm. What about economy? There's a whole thing. Housing block. Residential tower designed to provide shelter to a large number of citizens. You also want the housing block? You want the dense housing block? Oh, subsidized housing block. So you do get... Uh, you potentially get more options, yes. Right. The public has voted. Dictated is. Oh well. Oh well. Just imagine. Oh, you imagine. I turn full evil. And then whatever I want. No, I'm the Senate style. Like, no. I mean, yes, in the game, absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Work compensation. 
maintenance duty. Oh, unproductive do maintenance. That is here. Workers who do not meet their quotas must stay after the shifts to perform machinery and infrastructure maintenance. <laughs> Everyone must share the burden of maintaining the city's machinery and infrastructure. Actually, I do like that. But okay, we don't need those right now. And the the maintenance, uh, the compensation. To com encourage competition, the city will allocate special bonuses to the people who work them most efficiently. Hmm. No, I don't want any of this. I'll I'll continue with survival. The oh oh, we have a squalor problem, right? So here. Structures that circulate, structure that circulates the ambient air through natural moss that absorbs and filters impurities. You want the map ventilation tower? So moss decreases it significantly. You also want the moss? Ice bloods for the win. We're gonna we're gonna do this here. Seventeen percent of the city are now ice bloods. Okay, so we need we need more food, right? How do we how do we go about this? There's food up here. So I guess I could, I could frost break my way up here. We're just going to take a while and then we can make another district up here. And then I should also frost break my way. Oh wait, the way station, build a logistics district. I don't have enough heat stamps. Something's happening. Nothing lost. Biowaste drum hothouse. Stuart, our biowaste drum hothouse has begun cooperating with people who forage for food additives in the frostland. On top of their regular duties, they provide it with leaves, animal carcasses, and feces in order to enrich its compost. This will no doubt increase our food output. Nice. Oh yeah, lovely. Exactly what we needed. So now we need more shelter. Maybe we should have gone for the research. We still have the, the heat problem. Yes, yeah, some good news. That is true. Um, how much do we need? 150. Ooh. Oh, and it's going to be colder again. Can put this here. All right. We'll get the logistics outpost. This is exciting. Um, this is actually what I have to do. It took a while. Oh, no. Uh, they stop adding their feces directly to the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, they, they never did that. I think. Hello, Psychomore. Welcome. Happy Wednesday to you too. How are you? It's good to have you. Oh, whiteouts. The dangerous weather anomalies. Um, whiteouts move the winds and only affect locations directly below them. Whiteouts make outposts inoperable, disabling them, and territories unexplorable. Whiteouts bring various hazards that will severely affect different aspects of the city's economy that last as long as the storm is over the city. They can affect your foods and materials, increase demand of various resources, or decrease temperature even more. It is advised to, be, to always be prepared for whiteouts, as they can affect your city to a degree from which it will be very difficult to recover. No shit. 
Ah, it's getting colder. Scour the Frostland. Our logistics district is ready and Frostland team stand by for orders. Frostland exploration is now available. Dum dum! Nice. Alright. Launch expeditions to discover places and resources you can harvest for the benefit of the city. Select territories and assign a number of Frostland teams. The number of teams required depends on the difficulty of the terrain. There are icons. There is like a wave and then a, a not a not wave. Territory is more challenging. Okay. The cost and exploration time can be reduced by researching alternative exploration methods. Okay. So there's the valley, the mountains, the frozen desert, the plains. Ooh, this changes when I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this? Just around the river bend. We followed a petrified river up through the frost and spotted a sharp bend north of here. Could be an indicator of an underground resource, likely, likely oil or gas. So that means I have to go to the valley, right? Quiet lowlands nestled between hills and all mountains. Offered some respite to travelers amidst the rugged terrain. Um, uh, present little challenge for exploration. It is safe, fast, and few teams required. Possible findings are coal. 10 are required. I'm not sure how much I have. Launch expedition. Did I, did I do the thing? Return to the city. Okay, I think I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. All right, we're gonna return to the city. There's a thing going on here. You want the image for the ice bloods that show a topless man about to be injected with something is representing the ice bloods literally injecting ice into the blood. Either that or that or antifreeze. Maybe it's antifreeze. Whiteout is in 10 weeks, I think, yes. Ape Chambers, 90, former shipwright. Longing to join his wife in the beyond. 90 years old, 90 summers. Well, winters, more like. I've had a good life, I guess. Well, I've had a life, anyway. Not everyone in the old Queen Height crew can say the same. I'd always thought I'd be sharing my Liddy's grave, but now Pete's pressuring me to donate my body to the city. Apparently, the doctors are using dead folks' skin to pick up, fix up frostbite or something. Can't they leave me alone? Haven't I been through enough? A lack of law regulating funerals is causing tension. All right, well we can we can do something about that. Society. There's a new thing for youth, but we want the funeral stuff. Ceremonial funerals. Bodies must be buried untouched after a traditional funeral to show proper respect to the departed. Relatives must be allowed to mourn with dignity. Trust loss resulting from deaths is decreased. They lose trust in me when they die? How is it my fault if they're old? What, how is it my fault if they, I don't know, fall into a mine shaft? How much trouble have we caused? A bit. A bit. The harvesting funerals, opposed to that. The deceased will be harvested and the healthy body parts used to support city health care. Unharvested remains will be incinerated and the ashes transferred to relatives. The seas are slightly decreased and research, research speed is slightly increased. It's supported by the technocrats. I know, I also really like that. I also like that one. I want this one. 27 for it, 24 against it. I think the machinists are gonna vote for this. So maybe we're gonna... We're gonna try to get... Oh, I, di I didn't mean to do... Oh, I misclicked. The delegates no! <laughs> I misclicked! Oh, no! 49! 
I missed it. I wanted to negotiate. Oh no. Two votes. The key to difficulty. I know, I know. Oh, that was stupid. Okay. So, so that happened, yes. Um, here, you, top right, you can see... Oh, no, never mind. It's not in, in 10 weeks. We have 30 weeks. 40 weeks. In 40 weeks, it's gonna happen. But I don't know how we survived that yet. Maybe we're gonna upgrade shelter. <laughs> so, so stupid. <laughs> Oh, okay. Anyway, so we need... Yeah. Whatever. There's a research institute here. Requirements, total output. So if I want more shelter... That's how we get more shelter. Rallying Ice Bloods draft legislation. How about that white down? Yeah, right. Hello, blueberries. Do I still play Nace of Honor 2? I do not know. I just jump from game to game. So currently, I mean, Frostpunk 2, the beta this week. Um, Rimworld Anomaly DLC came out. So Rimworld, uh, Stardew Valley, because of the update. And then I'm looking forward to jumping into Mana Lords. There's a, there's a lot going on right now when it comes to gaming. Yeah, Mana Lords. Yep. Stuart, the Ice Bloods have extended their activities into a new district. They have erected a stage near the hub and hold periodic rallies here as well. During the most recent event, they announced the brightest minds have, a me have been meeting in the evenings to draft new legislation regarding work compensation. They presented their new policy efficiency bonuses to the city. We've done all the work and drawn up the motion. All the steward has to do is put it to a vote. They call on you to pledge your support for their law. Um, if I do that, I have to make sure that it passes. I can disregard the study. And then the ice bloods are not gonna be happy with me. But they, they are very happy with me. I think it's okay if I disappoint them once, right? It'll, it'll be all right. So many games to give attention to. I know, right? It's, there's a lot. And you fool. Well, it's, it's not for free. It's... I still have to... I have to make sure this passes. And that's going to be tricky. I'm going to disrupt... Hmm. I didn't have to research it. No, you're right, but... Ah, oh, whatever. Ice Bloods for the win. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Well... This new building proposed. Oh, the moss filter thingy. Okay, the research is done. The moss filter... Isn't it... This isn't housing. But we don't have space here. All right, so we need to increase this too. Good. This one's done. Building and housing. Oh, can't afford it. Well, that's all right. Let's take a look at research. Waste management facilities, advanced hot houses. Logistic base, what was that for again? That is for... Here's the airport. I don't know, fine. I think we're okay. So I think that this game is trying to tell you that democracy is kind of rough in dire circumstances. I think that is the message, yeah. Because this is not easy. We can't do the generator upgrade, so we need to find a different way. Maybe, maybe the housing thing. 
It will increase the heat demand as well. But we'll get more... More shelter. One heat stamp income. Residential tower providing functional shelter with basic amenities to workers and their fam families and supported by the city. That is clearly the best. We're going to develop this idea and then hopefully we can convince the others to, to pass that. Okay. Good. We're building that tower, right? Oh no, we haven't built it because we didn't have enough... Oh no. And we still don't have enough um, heat stamps for it. I think we're going to die during the whiteout chat. Okay, moss filtration. So now we're voting on the efficiency bonuses, right? And I kind of promised them that it's going to happen. People are divided. I, I need to negotiate this now. So, you're against it, you are for it. So that's a 20 of you. Mostly hesitant. We need... We should, we should get the machinists to vote for it. Okay. Oh, the challenge, of course, is to juggle the competing interests. Yeah, it's it's not easy. Oh, okay, here we go. We can promise them to demolish the untreated wood sawmill. Because... Because we have one that we don't use, and I'm going to try to... <laughs> I'm going to try to promise them this and hope that it works. All right, vote for me. Well, for, for my ideas, I guess. Easy peasy. The delegates have spoken. Oh, the nice, actually. 69. Effect. Beautiful. Promise to the ice blots kept. They like us. Now, okay, this is paused. Oh no, the cult. I love this. So we need to destroy this. Unfortunately, there's also the materials depot, but demolish the district and all buildings inside it. Am I? Ah, ah, okay, this is good. That was not quite clear, but luckily I mouse over. Demolish the building. Yes. And that should work. It doesn't matter that it's not in use, right? Right? Oh god, tension is really high. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> I, d I feel so good. Promise to build it, promise to demolish it, promise to build it, promise to demolish it. Yeah! I mean, I, I did demolish it. Just very good. Okay, but also, uh, do you see this? There's a notable tension here, and it's greatly increased because of the severe cold. Yeah. Sorry about that. Tension. Dum, dum, dum. Tension shows you how agitated and anxious people in the city are. Be careful. If your tension reaches the maximum limit, the city will fall into uncontrollable chaos. But the city must not fall. Imagine having gunmen that actually do what they promise. I know, right? Okay, that was really funny. Why is this not working? Lack of required deposit. What do you mean? What? Did 
But this is still active. Lack of required deposit. What does that mean? Oh! Oh, as in... Ah! The... Okay, I understand. Like, the, the resource is depleted, is what it says, right? That's okay. Yeah, okay, I, I did not understand it that way. That's okay, we can increase this. It'll be okay. Um, they're still on the way, never mind. But, uh, what, what am I going to do about the, the cold? <laughs> no. <laughs> I finished the resources. Yeah, I just, I just didn't understand what it meant. Okay, so you can work with this again, right? What does this mean? All deposits extracted by the district are depleted. That is not true. We just gain two more. What is this? A broken vow. Is this game as much of, as, of an anxiety fuel as I hear people say? Uh... Mm, I don't know. I don't know what people say, right? Frostpunk 1 absolutely was. Frostpunk 2... I mean, I, I am getting a bit unsettled now because I know the whiteout is coming and I'm not prepared for it. So, somewhat. But it's definitely not as... as horrible and dark and dreadful as the first one. Stuart. The foragers are extremely upset that you have recently demolished a building they feel strongly about, the untreated wood sawmill. They wish to remind you of the vow you swore to construct a building of this sort. Doing so, and your significant goodwill with their members. Mocking them by this demolition has pushed them towards hostility. How do you wish to respond? That is... that is mean though. Because I would like to tell them that, you know, yes, I demolished it. But it wasn't in use anymore anyways and we have another one that i'm still using so it's you know no right distant violin music well it's frost punk it's frost punk i think the upgrades you can do that can use to improve the heat on the houses or something i don't know i don't know we have to find out let's build it again <laughs> right um, this is a scarf. This is a scarf. It's a, it's a Frostpunk 2 scarf. It says the city must not fall and it's kind of upside down. But it's, it's too large. Tier 3. Wait, you legend. The city Ooh. must not Hi. fall. Literally forced time in my schedule to see you live. Favorite stream live by Aww. a lot. Aw, thank you. Paul, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. For resubbing again for 34 months with the tier 3, the extra support, and actually scheduling time for this. That's very, very sweet. Thank you. I hope you're doing all right. It's good to see you. Promise to build it. I, we already have one. It was an unfortunate necessity. It's fine. They, you know, still neutral. It's okay. Oh yeah, I know it's it's not it's not a sling. It's just it's really warm, like I don't wanna actually use it. Also, I need the snowflake choker to be on display. It's frostpunk snow. Oops. Um We explore something. Okay. So maybe this just needs some time to take over. We we're here. Pete's Dingle. We stumble across an abandoned caravan of sledges, long since picked clean. Closer inspection revealed wood had been treated with oil, a crude but effective method of waterproofing. Frozen tracks indicate the sledge came from the northwest. I don't know why, but this, this line here is just cut off slightly. I see. So we will move on to the glacier. 
Resistant body of dense ice, constantly moving under its own weight and creating shifting landforms. Treacherous slopes and falling ice can pose a challenge to explorers. We need a moderate number of teams. <gasps> we don't have 20. We can't go here. But we can go to the plains. Possible finds. Frostland dwellers and coal. Vast expanse of relatively low elevation characterized by flat or gently rolling terrain with occasional plateaus and basins. Poses negligible challenge for explorers. Okay, we go here. It's unfortunate. We need more explorers. Okay, unpause. We're over halfway through the, the beta, by the way. 323 people froze to death in the city. Whoops. Da, 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 da. Da, da, some, um, well, okay. Um, why is the heat so low? It's because the buildings need heat. And apparently I have too many buildings that need heat and I don't make enough heat. Right, the generator has an output. And I can increase the out... What? Why did that do... I don't know why that happened. I can increase the output of the generator um, by 40%, but only for 30 weeks. And then what? The thing is, I can't upgrade the generators. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how we're supposed to survive the, the whiteout. Now we need less heat. Not sure. It's not the coal, I think. 119 foragers joined the ice bloods. Deaths are due to cold. We've got problems in the city, chat. Stuart, a recent cold wave has taken many lives in the city. People were found frozen not only in the open streets, but in some houses and workplaces as well. Grief fills the air, and beneath it, an undercurrent of anger. People feel the horror of years past will return under your leadership. They, wa they want the council to ensure new laws can help with fighting this crisis. Tension grows. What? This is this is like the years past. What? What do you mean? It's like it's it's just like as if it's the same steward who's um in control, right? How the difference between this and the first one so far? So this is on a much bigger scale. You don't place down individual buildings, but you make districts. And it's very much about politics, about the council meetings and the different factions and making sure that they are happy and they don't they don't kick you out, I guess. Um, but it's in the same vibe of you have to keep your people alive and you can go on expeditions and you need those resources and so on. Just right. Thank you so much for the raid again. Appreciate you. Hello. How was your stream today? Did you kill a lot of people again? Welcome in. Hi, everybody. Hello. I'm, I'm Kiri and we're playing the beta for Frostpunk 2 and it's so amazing and um, bad things are happening. <laughs> Hello, true, true man gangster. No, no people were killed. Sure. And there's serenity. Welcome. No, never, never. It's just... I know Wright enjoys it, just like I do. Okay, so you're saying... It's the coal. Oh. Actually, it might be. Increase coal output by constructing this... So you're saying if I have more coal, the generator's going to do more? Okay. Well, there's another coal thingy over here. I can try to make my way there, but I'm probably not going to be able to do this in time. Are we... Is this on the tile? No, this is the tile. All right, so we're going to break the frost open to get there. Ah, oh, okay. 
Frozen people is a meat surplus. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. More coal means the generator can work harder. Ah, right. Well, it's okay. It happened. This is just the first try anyways, right? Extraction. So let's extract here. Looks kind of stupid, but that's all right. New law. All right. We need society, the funeral. We're going to try this again now. For the harvesting funerals. And this time I will negotiate. Here we go. I clicked the right thing. We're going to negotiate for... The machinists, because they have they have more say in the matter. You can build during the whiteout. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. But people will still die, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Demolish the bio waste. No, no, no. City development effort. Oof. I'm gonna grant them agenda because just because we give them. We'll let them choose the next law. Doesn't mean it's actually going to come to pass. Good. All right. Please vote for me. 55. Oh, and, and then a bit more. 63. All right. We passed the law. So we're going to harvest the corpses now. So. <laughs> always good. Finished. So still time left. All right, we. Oh, look at that! They're no longer opposed to me now. Subsidized housing block. Right, but this is something they can build, right? Subsidized housing block. It demands more heat, but we'll get got more shelter in there. Put it there. We just don't right now. Okay. Oops, desecration. I guess just chuck the non-productive people. Um, In the furnace. More heat and power. Less people to use it. Win-win. Yeah, we, we use it for medicine. You know, it's also good. It's still saying this was depleted. I don't... I don't think so. Strange. Technocrats suggest action. Cold. Stuart, we're struggling with cold. A group of technocrats have come forward with an idea. We should research blasting coal mine. Let us pursue it and the city will benefit. They look with distrust at what other communities propose. They would surely appreciate getting behind their idea. They want to research blasting coal mine. Uh... We have 80 weeks for that. Actually, I think that's all right. Handle cold and other way. And I, I am open for suggestions. So blasting coal mine, where is it? Survival, advanced coal mines, and you want the blasting ones. Operation using explosive drilling to rapidly exploit deep coal deposits at the cost of significant waste and fumes. But the machinists and the technocrats are for it. Well, okay, we're gonna develop this idea for you. All right. Oh, you know what? There's like a loading bar around this, a progress bar. But this is hardly legible. More foragers join the ice bloods. Tension is lowered again, which is good. And we built a thing here, so yeah, you're right. We've got more. We've got more coal. We're still not um, stockpiling it. We need extraction. The grinding coal mine for now. Okay. I think honestly, for a first run, this is pretty decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. <gasps> but the whiteout is starting in 
three days. Idea how much mana lord is gonna cost? Uh, no, no, I don't. Seventy-six people join the ice bloods. Ha! Join us all. Join us. All right, so we've got forty weeks of insane temperatures incoming. And we make... Look at that, we currently have a surplus. Oh yeah. Okay, this is really good. We made it... Yeah. The Relict Settlement. We came across a group of machinists attempting to settle in the Frostland. They would be a good addition to the workforce, but may not be welcomed by everyone. Invite them. I will come back later. We do. We don't need them, do we? I'll come back later. And I still can't do this because we don't have people for it. We can go to the valley for possibly some food, more workers. We don't really need those right now. 21 weeks. Crazy. Okay. Let's go back. Back to the city. What is this? Resource deposit are nearly depleted. Oh, no. It's a food one. Okay. White out ending ice bloods rally. Storm forces them. Blah, 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 blah. Brittle wood. Materials production becomes inefficient. Uh oh. Uh oh. We can't build another food district. So we're gonna vote on a on a law. Wait, am I not giving them agenda? Oh, use grant agenda. I didn't realize I had to. I had to press a button for this. Okay. Um, the storm forces them to go home. In my yeah, so this is gonna be bad now. Okay, machinists are happy with me. Um, that is research. Okay. Oh god. That's a. <laughs> That's a thing now. Okay. Um. I think we can vote. Yeah, okay. So they, they want the city development effort. And it will be supported. The extraction work in an effort to gain more resources. I think for now, I'll just let them vote and it's going to happen. It's okay. The homeless people are screwed. They are. Yeah, they are. Hello, Apollo Python. It's good to see you again. I hope you've been well. Hello. We'll be able to see anything when the white out happens. I mean, it's happening now, and... Oh, the game is paused. You see stuff, but it is... It is very dark. The music... I love it. This is awesome. Alright, so we need... We need food. And we need coal. And we need everything. I lack the workforce to build. Chad, I think... I think I kind of killed most of my people. I don't... Okay. I should have brought them back. No, it's not a solid white screen, no. I actually like this. It's more dark now. The music... I ran this into the ground. A broken vow. Now it's life and death. It is. It is. It's so good. I like it. The consequences of my actions. Yes, indeed. You were sick. Uh, you could go to work again tomorrow. All right. Well, I'm glad you're doing much better now. That's good. 
Stuart, the foragers are extremely upset that the expedition support law is no longer in force. Nah, it happens. Oh, they, they are really upset. I promise you, I'll, I'll reinstate it. Still just as brutal. Yeah. This is what I want. So... I don't have enough workers. 290 people froze to death in the city. We're just gonna wait this out, right? I don't think I can do anything. I... I don't have the workforce. <laughs> I don't have the worker workforce to build anything. Walked away for five minutes. Is this a storm? Yes, this is the whiteout. It, it just begun. Uh, uh, began and it's bad. It's bad. All my people are dying. It's hilarious. Pro promise to the technocrats kept. Cores. Cores are pivotal components of machinery from the era preceding the Great Frost. I know. The steam cores. These are essential in upgrading the generator and constructing advanced buildings. Manufacturing technology of comparable quality is nearly impossible in the current environment. As such, you cannot produce any cores. Carefully consider every investment you make with cores, as they are a scarce resource. You can only find additional cores by exploring the frostlands. Ah, good old frostpunk. Yeah, so um, this is this is where we die, Chan. This is. Where we die. Wave, yeah. The problem is the expedition. Exploration impossible. White out in the city. Okay, but can you go here? Invite them. This is the white out. Maybe there was no need to stop this, but I... anyway. How do I... No, it was necessary to stop it to invite the others back home. So we're gonna get more workforce. But we still need to wait for the whiteout to be over. This is another one. Okay, so here it's gonna get better again. We have minus 80 Celsius right now. It's a bit cold. Oh, wait, wait. Caravan of frost dwellers have been caught in the white out. Whoops. Whoops. Those are the ones that I sent here. Oh no, chat. This is bad. This is really bad. But it's also, you know, very beautiful. Sorry. 308 people froze. Promise to the forge is broken. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, so, um, how about. Um, no one of this is alright. Oh, wait, I checked here already. Youth program. This is the only one we've got. Young adults are encouraged to experiment. Trust will rise. A lot of people are against that. Change proposal. I want to. No, it's not going to happen. I want to change it. We're going to. We're going to change it to. I think this is a bug. I want to change it to a different category. Okay, minus 80 degrees and the guy is telling people not to litter. <laughs> you, you gotta make sure that people have that um, a feeling of normalcy and, you know. Let's talk about goods, shall we? Goods demand per capita is marginally decreased. Yeah, we're going to propose this. 
people are divided, but it's, it's gonna happen. Durable goods. Come on. Yes, it passed. Okay. Very good. So we did we did something. At least we're not just sitting there rolling our thumbs. Oh, something's here. Angry foragers grow more radical. Um, we're going to deal with this after a short break because Twitch is going to run ads. I will go and get a snack. Um, the city must not fall, but I feel like it will. Well, we'll see. Short break, everybody. Thank you for being here. Fall if you haven't yet. Subscribe. Check out the socials. I'll be right back. Hello, hello. So, um, we have a situation. The situation is the whiteout is here. 
it's almost over, but the White Tower's here, and it cost so many lives. <laughs> Mistakes were made. And so the angry foragers grow more radical. Stuart, the foragers have grown deeply unhappy with your rule. Community leaders now openly urge foragers to join the Icebloods, arguing as part of a radical organization they will be better able to protect their interests. If nothing is done to address the situation, many angry foragers will join the Icebloods and push for the faction to take action against you. Hostile relations with foragers will cause them to radicalize and join the ice bloods. They make it sound bad. We are pro ice bloods. Actually, this is no. This uh, yeah, I'm not making any mistakes. This is actually totally fine. Encourage the initiative. The ice bloods are an effective organization. We should encourage foragers to join. Ice bloods relations will only worsen slightly. Encourage it. Okay. Okay. Now this is fine. Is this, is this fine? Tensions are high. That's not good. Look at that storm. Can't do anything but wait, really. We're not getting any materials. Not enough, at least. Output. Right. Well, the politics in this look so fun. Hi there, Silva. Hello. Hope you're well today. Now the technocrats don't like me. Yeah, the foragers hate me. The technocrats also don't like me. I lost the goodwill of the ice blast for some reason. There's nothing about the current situation you would describe as fine. No. No, not really. We, but, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, this is nearly depleted, which is very bad. This is nearly depleted, which is very bad. This is a bug though, because it says all are depleted and here it says nearly. So this is, this is a bug. We need, we need more materials, and the way to get them is. Wait, I can't expand this. Why not? That's odd. Maybe we can only expand it once, so I would need to make a new one. But I'm lacking the workforce, so. Never mind. I will just uh wait. I think. I snuff it. Hello. Ah. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And, uh, you know, the weather's a bit better than here. Got so many sick people. This is very interesting. Are you able to make satellite settlements in this? You can make colonies, whatever that means. 300 people froze to death. My, my workforce is dwindling. About half of the workforce is is sick. But the the whiteout is over. Yeah, the storm leaves. Okay. After easy. Um. <laughs> the whiteout has passed. Ah, oh, I bet the crazy hello. The game's really good. It's very hard though. Um it's different than the first one and this is my first try and i'm f absolutely failing that but i i understand it more now it's it's one of those games you know it's a city builder it's a survival city builder so you will fail the first time um it's interesting in uh in, in how it is different so the much grander scale and the the heavy focus on politics hello fireburn welcome 300 people froze to death yes that's what I said. 20 stream streak, Silver. Thank you. We made it through the storm, but it was relatively short. When the next one comes, it will be worse. In the past, White House devastated all our expansion attempts. We mustn't let it happen again. We must find a permanent source of fuel before another, more severe one comes our way. Our expedition teams must hurry. Oh no. 
And yeah, we can already see the next one here on the map. It's coming in 70 weeks. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Okay, logistic base. We need more frost line team, frost land teams. Vanguard logistics bay. Automated logistics bay. Vanguard automated. All right, we'll go with a Vanguard. And then we're going to vote for something. Not sure what we're going to vote for. Unregulated. Workplace determines their own working hours. I really want the weather adjusted shifts though. People are divided. 11 are hesitant. Oof. We need to negotiate this. Okay. Hi, Thalas. Welcome. Frostpunk, Frostpunk. How on earth have you stayed in power? You get thrown out of the colony if less than 100 people die. In the first game, that is. I am I seem to be doing an okay job. But yeah, th that was not the first time that 300 people died in one go. Left automation in the first punk. Uh, in <laughs> the first punk. I'm not sure if that was a typo or not, but that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So, they want this. Uh, they're mostly for it. They won't negotiate. They're partially open to negotiate. Two of the foragers. I need to negotiate with the machinists for it and see what happens. We just need a couple people to join us. Ha. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, Wolfric. Um, Because then people don't know if it's claimed or not. But... Um... Yeah. Frostpunk 1 is now called First Punk. I think that's good, yes. Vote 4. Um, what do we have? Fund projects. We could fund the projects. That's an easy one. For the... The machinists, yeah, okay. The law will be supported. Okay. Vote for us. Help us, help us. The votes are in. The measure passed. I see. Very good. And then we made a promise to the machinists to fund the projects. Okay, so I'm I'm still in power, we're still alright. How am I gonna get my people? healthy again what can the logistic bay there is one oh god yeah i've got by the food i think this is it though i don't think i can turn this around we don't have workforce here right because nobody is here this is inactive so it would be a uh, once we have the workers workforce from the food district that we have we can move it to the new one I guess. There's a council, yeah. I... I'm not exploring. Because the people I sent out... I think they died. Yeah, I don't have enough people here. Oh no, they did not die. I'm not exploring, but what we want to do is not happening right now. <gasps> oh, Silver Bell Sledge. We found an old steam-powered sledge lodged in, in a crevasse. A custom-made model, by the look of it. Long broken, although it's red and green, and a melt exterior still retains its luster. 
It was empty, except for a copious stock of coal and a silver bell we found on the driver's seat. Our youngest scout insists that it makes a beautiful sound, but no one else can hear it. The boy's a bit touched, always going on about elves and other nonsense. But if the bell gives him comfort, who are we to judge? Take the coal. 10,000? 10,000? Okay, and, and now I only have five available, but I don't have the... Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Good. How's the game? Prefer to the first one or not so much? Um, I don't prefer to the first one, no. It's, it's really good, and I like it. The building is not working. Is, is this done now? It says nearly depleted still, but it might be... Wait, okay, the game is paused. Are we... Is this completely... Are we... Did you done? Total output? We're still outputting something, okay. So the new game is good, Shigen. Welcome in. It's... It's different. It is different. It's a much grander scale. There's a heavy focus on politics. And I like what they did with the district building. I think that is really cool. And it makes sense to have that. I'm not sold on the politics. I'm not sold on that. But it is it is really cool, and I can't wait to play the story. But so far I prefer the first one, yeah. Okay, now it's inactive. So now we will demolish the district. And then we're gonna get another food district here. Yeah. Oh no. Why can I not build it here? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we need more space here. Oh, because it's it's not yellow. Ah. My bad. And we get more space here as well. Okay. I needed to break it out. Of course. Is the bell radioactive? Um, what can I find out? Hmm? Why not sold on it? Oh, I just, I don't, I don't want to juggle all the different factions. In the first one, it was you against the rest, really. And then every now and then you had a riot and you just, you know, beat the people into a pulp and then that was okay. But here you've got four different factions. I'm not sure if there's going to be more eventually or not, because there, there's still, I don't know, shadows of people here. But you have all of them and you have to... You kind of have to make sure that they all like you, at least to some extent. And I don't want that. I like being a tyrant in games, that is true. Yes. Hello, Lapale. Good morning. So it's not it's not shallow, definitely not shallow. I also wouldn't say it's tedious, it's just that I don't enjoy that as much. I much rather have it a bit simpler and have it either or, as in um you can be good or you can be bad or you can be, you know. Yeah. So it's definitely not bad. I think it's really well made. I'm just not sure if I like it so much frost politics exactly there is this tab full of things like political police and captain's authority oh yeah sure um sure we just need to get to that torn apart by quarantine Stuart, some wish for changes to our quarantine policy forced separation from loved ones is difficult for all when they have to go into quarantine it's especially hard for parents whose children are taken from them and put into quarantine one such mother comes to the quarantine camp every day, asking to be allowed in to take care of her daughter. She's deathly afraid of being alone. She can't cope without me, she pleads. Should we allow healthy parents into the camp with their sick children? Um... Oh, the ice bots want that? Um, 
unhealthy parents from quarantine. We're going to stick with it. It's going to improve the relations with the technocrats slightly. But it's at least not going to decrease the relationship with the others. Good. So we're going to build this up here. We... We're going to run out of materials soon. And we need a bit more shelter. Okay, so hopefully we're going to get shelter with this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> Frostpunk, you know. The oh, here we go. The longing of a little heart. <clears throat> okay. Stuart. The young girl whose mother knocks on the gates of the quarantine camp every day is faring very badly. Our doctors cannot fully explain why she does not respond to medications like other patients. They fear that the child may never fully recover. Oh, yeah, so right in the fields. Perfect. This is what we expect of Frostbunk, right? This is good. <laughs> this is exactly it. We need this, the bio waste thingy, but I don't have... Oh, I don't have the workforce for it. Yeah, see, this is what I get. That's unfortunate. So we can't get more food production here. We have enough house... Uh, no, seven more. Okay. Well, there's that. Carry compassion. I don't know what that is. I don't have compassion when it comes to kids. That's, it's not... That's not a secret. We're gonna vote on something. We'll vote on... No, we don't want to vote on that. Have we... Voted on everything? Like, there's a law for everything, right? We don't have a youth program, but and that's a rule. And this is still, yeah, that's not available. Uh, I guess the okay. I'm gonna okay. They're so opposed to this. Never mind. Um, but I don't have to vote, do I? If we don't have any anything to vote on... Oh no. Now we're not getting any more coal from here. New building proposed by the Icebloods. Okay, hang on. Um, and that goes here, right? Logistics? The Vanguard Logistics Bay. Because then we have 15 more Frostland teams. Good. Alright, we'll get more food. We got some more workforce. Maybe because people recovered or... I don't know what. Uh, no, we got it from here. Because our coal thing here is empty. we don't have any co- any more... Oh, here we go. We don't have any more coal here. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, maybe... Population thing. Alright, what's this? The technocrats begin protesting again. Okay, the city's changing and for the worse, they demand I repeal the efficiency bonuses. I'm gonna ignore you for now. They're in the goods district. They're in the goods district. But that's not ideal. Alright, we're gonna go on expedition. We can hopefully go to the glacier now. Yes. Alright, our coal is an issue. Wait, we, we still have 12. We can send out another one. No. 
We can set up an outpost here. I didn't know. Build a trail or railway path to lose this connect uh, location. Connect trail. Oh, look at this. How does this work? I don't know how this works. But there was something here for trails. Trails. They allow you to send resources between different places in the Frostland and are required to operate outposts. Okay, click the trail button. They're built in sections. While the construction of each trail is a fixed Frostland team's requirement, each section will increase the cost of the building, building the trail. Connect a trail to a city by linking it to one of the entry points. You can build more entry points. Okay, so it's one trail per, per entry point. Once researched, you can construct railroads instead of trails to ship more resources. Railroads increase the outpost efficiency and capacity of the resource transfer between outposts and a city. That is so cool. Once again, they take something from the first one and just adapt it. I love it. It is really cool, yes. Hi, Trilisco. Welcome. Stiegler, hello. It's good to have you. So a few minutes of Frostpunk 2 the other day. You didn't really understand it. It's now more like a politics game instead of building the first one. It's very different. I can I can go into more detail. Hello, uh, uh, Oh. Hey Roy, hello. Can't talk anymore. <laughs> hello, welcome in. Let me quickly read about Outposts and then I'll launch into how it's different, okay? So we can find some for coal materials or oil and we need to connect it but with a trail. Actually, that's all weird. Outposts will eventually run out of resources. Okay, so the game is paused. Yes, Frostpunk 2 much grander scale so time passes super quickly we've been playing for four hours and 238 weeks have passed so time passes more quickly you have much more people here so everything's on a bigger scale and you build you don't build just individual buildings but you build whole districts as you can see here so you've got the logistics one for doing um the, the expeditions industrial extraction, food, and housing. So we have that on a bigger scale. And it is very much focused on politics. Yes. Very much so. And you've got different factions. I'm not sure if four is the maximum. If you've always got four, I do not know. You start with two. And some of them are in opposition with each other. And you have to walk that balancing act. And, well, I guess make sure everybody prime, survives. Prime, prime. I failed. Seven plus seven plus to a year and a half already. Glad to be able to support your really nice work. Thank you, UB. Thank you. I'm, I'm very glad you like it so much. And that you want to support. Thank you for the Prime. Thank you for the 16 months. Hope you're well. So you're still building in Frostpunk 2. And then you can expand the districts. And when you do, they get a housing slot. Or like a building slot. And then you can build special buildings in there. So you have the district one, district build menu here. And then you have the specific buildings, but you can only have one building in district unless you upgrade it. So there's not a lot of buildings. There's lots of research and this looks really cool. Research for survival, economy and society. I totally did not see that there were three different research trees. And yeah, then you have the council sessions, and they are very important. So, Frostpunk 2 is less dark, is less dire, less dreadful in a way. I think that's very sad. But it does have the same feeling to it. And I think it's a really cool way of showing what you can do with a sequel, because it's not just, oh, we just take the game and, I don't know, we add more content. Like, this is a fully new game that takes ideas from the first one, but then changes them. And I think that's really cool. I... I don't want to say which one I prefer yet, because this is just a small glimpse of the game, right? But yeah, so it's very different. 
and we need another expedition. Oh yeah, right. Okay, I got distracted. Connect the trail. So we need to connect it. Oops. Where's, where's my... Trail construction. Ah, here's the thing. Doesn't work. Oh, no, it does work. I just need to do this. 75 heat stamps. Three weeks. Okay, oh, this is so cool. <clears throat> I like that. So we're going to get coal from there, which is very much needed because we're not making enough coal here. Like, not even close to enough. Yeah. So there's like a difference between Darkest Dungeon 1 and 2. Oh, yeah. 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 Not, not as extreme. Because Darkest Dungeon 1... Like the the way, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I just I think that is a good comparison, but I feel like Dark Dungeon One and Two kind of changed the genre a bit more than here, because it's still a city builder and it's still a survival game. It's just that instead of micromanaging, you macromanage. Oh, <gasps> people have recovered and returned to work. Yes. Go to work. Get some stuff done. And, um, oh wait, research. We'll do oh, hospitals. Yes, so. Um, diseases decrease. This is just, just a hospital, okay. The recovery hospital significantly increases, decreases disease. Population growth is increased. Technocrats want a teaching hospital. For research speed. Ooh. But it requires more workforce and I don't have it. So ice bloods it is. We get a recovery hospital. Hospital outfitted with maternity wards and rehabilitation facilities to ensure that patients fully recover before being released. Alright, that's an idea we're going to develop. Glacier expedition. Oh, that was just. They were just preparing for that. They're still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Darkest dungeon became poorly lit dungeon. <laughs> it's no dungeon at all. The darkest road. Yeah, right. Mm. Okay. I guess we. We just have to wait now. Wait, is this finished? Your playthrough will time out in 50 weeks. The airpress will be connected to the city. Is this... Have we established the trail, though? They might still be working on it. I'm not sure. It's just the glacier expedition, so they're on the way here. Ah. Right, 20 needed to go here, so we're not... Uh-huh. Well, there's that. I don't have the people to do this now. Well, it's <laughs> <sorry> about that. <laughs> Are we gonna die before it times out? Looks like the outpost needs 10 teams to open. Yeah, and I don't have that because they all just went out to the glacier. Ah, uh, it's nice to see the evolution of Frostpunk then. You want building stuff, you play the first. You want management, you play the second. I mean, there's still management in the first one as well, but yeah, he is much more focused on <clears throat> on the grander scheme, the big picture. But, and this is really nice, you still have those tidbits of of just what is happening right now. And you still hear some of the people's voices, and and I like that. Unwanted destiny. 
Stuart, a father has come to our offices with his son. They both ask you to hear them out. This boy is not cut out for blacksmith, said the father. His knack is for words, poetry. He can bend steel, but he can stir souls. Please, let him be apprenticed under someone who can teach him to use his talents. This would be an exception from family apprenticeship and a precedent. We need to amend the law not to cause an uproar. Okay, if we relax it, the ice plus will not be happy, but tension is decreased. Someone subbed. Are we eating people and sawdust yet? <laughs> no, we're not playing Frostpunk 1. Hello, Pulsari. Thank you so much for the reset for the 16 months. Um, we have forageable additives in our food, whatever that means. And um, we're not eating people, but we're using everything after they die for, for medical purposes. It's good enough, right? Victory by timeout is still victory, right? I could just say, you know, I'm I'm on it. Almost there. I tried the demo for Mana Lords um a while back. But I will I will play Mana Lords, yes. I already have a key for it, I'll stream it, but now it's Frostpunk. Yeah. No, I, I hope I hope it's gonna be good. If we stay firm, the relations with the ice bloods will improve. Trust will rise marginally. Per all communities, all communities, all communities. What does that mean? Is it supposed to say that three times? Forgeable additives could be sawdust. I was thinking the same, right? I don't see how high the tension is right now. I think it's not too bad. We're gonna relax it. Okay, yeah, no, this is good. Okay, a new building was proposed. And now we can build it, right? The recovery hospital. Over here. Wait, isn't that? I thought that was the food district, but I I deconstructed that, right? <gasps> Protests spreads to food district. No, not the food. Okay. We just have a better PR team in the settlement. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, hello, Tinguska. Is eating people considered a medical reason if you're starving? Um, no, but you don't need a reason then when you're starving, right? Bring it down! If they want a new one, they will have to build it again. They use resources we extract, things we made for this building, when we do not want it here. Angry crowds enter food district, which contains bio-waste drum hothouse. The construction of this building was always frowned upon by technocrats, and finally, within the chaos of their protests, some could act upon their desire to get rid of it. Bio-waste drum hothouse was set on fire and left to collapse. Oh, come on. Stupid people. Alright, what do we do? How do we get rid of this? 185 people frozen to death in the city. How do I... Oh, oh no. It's a colder season. The technocrats' protest needs to end. Yes, I, I need to take care of this now. Stuart, members of the ice of Icebloods come... Come you with many complaints. Come, but there's a two missing. This technocrat's protest has gone on long enough. Stuart, how long are you going to indulge them? They keep ruining the city. Most are outraged and want any action from you. They say that if you don't deal with it, others will. They will handle it. Protest is not a priority. No, I'll handle it. I'm not sure how, but I'll handle it. Raya's fault explored. What's this? A builder's convoy. Take him out. I don't have enough guards for it. I know. I'm aware that I don't have enough. I... <laughs> ah! The 
reason for this is, is that I didn't realize for three hours that the research tree was divided into three categories. So I only researched survival. I didn't realize that there was other things as well. Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. some that happens. This, yeah, give it difficulty. This dreadnought is almost undamaged. It seems that it was abandoned with very little fuel in the tanks. The toxic hazard is relatively minor. So we'd better dismantle part of the hull in a few places to access all the decks. This can be easily done. We can also try to explore the interior, skipping any preparation, but it might be risky. Take the resources. Ten cores. I, we really don't need the cores. Okay, now we go back back here and we establish the outpost very good and then we've got this here while scavenging a deserted campsite we came across a well-preserved diary the quick skim revealed the author's catalogue of her husband's mental decline since the discovery of the black fount likely an oil seep the people had begun increasing their dependence on the substance and while looking into its potential medicinal properties it was fiercely opposed and from the sound of it his opposition wasn't well, re well received. She wrote... This is also cut off slightly. What is this? She wrote of a region similar to one southwest of here. The Sea of Ice. Vast, relatively flat, a frozen body of water for as long as the eye can see. The ice is thick and solid, making it easy to traverse with sledges of tracked vehicles. Or tracked vehicles. All right, we're going there. Expedition's done. A research grove. I don't, I don't know. Kiri difficulty is just a way to better immersion into the atmosphere of frosted desolation. That's a nice way of saying it. Okay, so in order to stop the protest, we don't have any guards. We need to make them like us. I don't know how to make them like us. Watchtowers, I think, is a good way of. <clears throat> okay. The technocrats, huh? Surveillance watchtowers. Let's go for that. And economy. What is this? Work efficiency bonus. No, we're not. We're not gonna have that. Apparently. Maybe we could vote for something here that they like, but. Just looking at this, how am I supposed to know what they like? It tells me there's something new here, but there, there really isn't. Oh, but we can propose... This. Because I think the technocrats are actually for that. Hang on. Let's see what they... Exactly, the technocrats are for this. 48 delegates, they are against- okay, no, it's not gonna happen then. Never mind. Ask them. We could ask them nicely to just, you know, stop. I think it's worth. Um, yeah, so I got the key from the publisher from 11-Bit Studios. Um, but... If you want access and you're not a streamer, content creator, press person, then you need to pre-purchase the deluxe edition. Yes. So not just the full, like, you need the deluxe edition for it. There's two different versions of the game. And uh, the, the bigger one is what you need to play the game for this week. And then you've got to wait until two days before it releases, actually, I think. Three days? Ah, oh, what do we do with them? The technocrats. I don't know, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. We can... fund... the projects. Whatever that is. And we can grant an agenda. Okay, so now they like us. We stopped the pros. I forgot that I could do this. Silly me. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. 
Oh, and they're... No? Okay, we're fine. Tension is really low, though. So we're making food again. The protest is dealt with. Very good. So, all of this is... Okay, we've got 2,000 more people living here. We got 10 cores. Exploring... Oh, yeah, we, we have an issue. Surveillance watchtower. We, we, have, we have lots of issues, actually. The materials. And I can't do this. Right, so we will demolish this. We need another extraction district. It's not going to decrease the workforce because I'm just going to demolish this. Alright, what's this? Um... The Watchtower. Guard squads can directly decrease crime by protecting the city, can be used to quell protests, or occasionally be utilized in various events requiring their intervention. The central district provides some guard squads. <laughs> However, very soon you'll need more to keep up with a growing city. Yeah, okay. The main way of recruiting them is building watchtowers. Many laws can change the cost of guard squads needs, okay? If you have enough guard squads and pass the relevant charter policy, you may declare a state of emergency or even martial law, which stifles all unrest for as long as you can maintain the cost of the actions. Okay. Guard towers, you say. We can put one here. Oh god. No, another storm hits the city. Uh oh, this is red chat. Oh, we're gonna die now. But we only have four more weeks. We can survive four weeks, right? Three. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Such a stream. I'm free. Yeah, of course. Thank you for, for work liking. I hope work's going well. Cold calculation. Catastrophic colds. Stuart, there's hardly any place left in the city that's even somewhat warm. We don't generate enough heat to supply all districts. Maybe we should establish priorities? We could remove heat from workplaces, but that will make them less effective. On the other hand, if we cut heat to people's dwellings, it will endanger the most fragile. What should we do? The city must not fall! To the people sickles. Protest housing heating, workplace heating, solve the cold differently. We're going to solve it by just surviving two more weeks. And then the, the beta ends and we're like, all right, well, I won. Wait, we're okay. Cold has decreased. Resource production efficiency. We don't need to produce anything. We're going to prioritize housing. Everybody's going to just huddle up at home. Okay. We've got three more weeks. You can do it! I would have liked to take a screenshot earlier, but I forgot. It's fine. This is, this is not good. It's the last days here. But you know what? I am still in power. <laughs> if you survive for 300 weeks, you can clearly survive for 300 months, right? Sure. What's this? Natalie Chapman, 21, Weaver. Everything is fine. Held up in bed after a long work day. Stuart be praised, at least this woman here. The factory was unbearable today. Took me some fingerless mittens, but this cold may very well make me fingerless myself. Sally has these thick sealskin gloves. Sure, she barely gets anything done, but at least she won't get frostbite. I should get a pair. That's if I ever get out of bed. It's so warm in here. You are welcome, Natalie. You're welcome. The last week is here. And we're gonna make it. We're going to make it. We've got people. Nobody's ill as well. Like, look at me. It's a perfect game, isn't it? Anyone caught dying from the cold during the night will be branded a traitor to the cause. 
Oh, we get to play the last week as well. The 300 week. Yes, the music. Here's the theme. And that was the last day. Screenshot? Yes, got it. Beautiful. We've made it, chat. I feel very good about this. It is time. Who knows what the future holds? But for now, it is time, Stuart. You've reached the end of the Utopia Builder Preview time limit. We encourage you to dive back into the snowy waste of the Frostland, as the preview holds two different endings depending on your playthrough and the decisions you make. Get ready for more exploration, management, factions and dramatic choices to be made once the game releases on July 25th, 2024. I like it. I like it. Oh, I don't know what, like, I'm not used to the, the text on a button changing when you click on it. Two different ways the settlement dies. Oh, but he didn't die. We, we did it. You enjoy that? Me too. No, this is really awesome. Um, honestly, I'm very proud of myself because that was my first time playing Frostpunk 2 on medium difficulty. You were dying. No, I wasn't. I totally survived. And I made it. 300 weeks. Lots of people died, but I didn't. I was still in power by the end of it. No, no, no. We were not... No. No, 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 no. Hear me out. We were not all dying because... I can explain this. We, we just set up the trail between the coal outpost and the base. So we've got would have gotten like a continuous amount of coal. Well for a bit at least. I love the music. No, we would have died at some point, yes. Um because what happened while I'm still proud of what I did for the first playthrough, I think that was really good. What happened is another white thing. What's it? A white storm. White. White out. Thank you. Another white out happened. And during that, the trail would not have worked, right? So we would have run out of coal very soon. We would have run out of food very soon, I guess. Even though we have food inside. But yes, the white out. Exactly. So we would have died during that white out. I'm absolutely sure of it. But since this game only lasted for 300 weeks, and I did not die during those 300 weeks, and we're still in power, I count that as a victory. So I think this is still still good. Very awesome. Um, that was that was great. And I don't I don't like how they made the ice bloods to be out as the bad guys. Like victory by timeout. I take it. I take it. Because on social media, I'm not sure if it was on Twitter or on, on Instagram. Um, 11 bit studios asked uh, how long how long um, the, the players stayed in power as the stewards and, and so I was thinking that it's going to be super hard to actually stay in power but nah I got this so this was, this was awesome Frostbank 2 first look at it now the question is let me check what I have planned for tomorrow the question is, chat, tomorrow's Thursday. <clears throat> Are we going to try this again tomorrow? And do better? Because now I understand the game much better. I know that there are three different research trees, for example. And I, I know that I need to prioritize expeditions to get those outposts up and running ASAP. So we could do this again tomorrow. And then dive into other games next week. And other games will be Mana Lord, it will be Rimworld again, it will be... I'm not sure if we're going to do King's Grave next week or not, but... More Frostpunk tomorrow, maybe? I think so too. A second playthrough is going to be much smoother. We might... Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. 
And then now that I know that they're technocrats, maybe we're going to focus on them because they seem to be really good, actually. But then I guess you want you want to keep a balance anyways, right? Not just focus on one of them. Yeah. Well, then. I don't want to start a new playthrough right now. I think we're just going to leave it here. But leaving on a high note, right? Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And for being here, I hope you enjoy this, this here, first look at Frostpunk 2 and then my streams. And if you did and you're new here, make sure you're following and have notifications turned on. If you're on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on. And I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube now. I'll be back again tomorrow, 1 p.m. CEST, same time as today, with more Frostpunk. Thank you.